Hi, very good evening. So let me first take this opportunity to welcome you all to this webinar and the session that we have it today and tomorrow. That's a two day session that we're going to be having. Now, prior to I move ahead, I would like to have certain uh, basic rules. Keep your mics off because that's something which is very important. Uh, it's gonna be though a participative session, but still, I mean, most of the time it's as and when you have to speak, you'll have to keep it on. Uh, that's it. So that's one thing. Second, uh, I want you to be having a place where you have a complete focus, right? Now it's gonna be two hours. So if you wanna, you know, bring in something for snacking and all this stuff, you can do that. Uh, now the whole idea is like, uh, why this session? So let's understand that. So primarily the reason is that, you know, I mean, when we talk in terms of this particular industry, I'm sure <clears throat> this is really catching eye and a lot of people want to really make their career into the counseling profession. And they, they're really passionate about uh, being a career coaches and being a career counselors. And they're very passionate about being a DMIT counselor. There are a couple of people who are already into this, you know, in an amateur fashion. And uh, but they want to scientifically learn, you know, and they want to get certified. They want to do this profession and they want to make money out of it. So and fortunately, this market is pretty booming, you know, but unfortunately, what happens is most of the time that if you really want to get into it, what is the choice available with you? The choice available with you is primarily that you have to you generally search onto a Google and you type on Google that, uh, fine, you want to be a career counselor or something like that, or a psychometric test or whatever. <clears throat> so once you type that, you come across certain uh, vendors, perhaps you start speaking to them and ask them, and they say, fine, you'll have to buy a software from us. And once you buy a software, we will train you. And that is what it is. Now, the irony is, here is that without having a knowledge, about what type of software to buy without having a knowledge anything about the career counseling, without having a knowledge anything about the DMIT counseling, what is to be looked into, even if you buy a software, how would you do that? And then there's no assurance the quality of training, would that be imparted or not? So at the end of it, today what's important is if you want to make a career into this profession, if you want to be a part of a 5,000 crore industry, it's extremely important that you should take the step number one as first step and step number two as second step. You can't take step number two and step number one, which I mean to say is you can not buy softwares and then get trained. You have to get trained and you have to understand what this industry is all about. And then finally, you have to actually make it big. Then if you feel that this this something it resonates to the idea and you really want to get into it, then, then that's the time that you have to get into it, right? So hi, this is Rajul Srivastav and I would like to welcome you all today to this session of today and tomorrow. Today, it's going to be a technical session live and what I'm going to cover today is almost everything about technicalities in terms of theories and processes so that you have a fair amount of idea before you dive into this venture. And tomorrow I'm gonna to be helping you to understand that uh, what's the what's the way you can market and make profits of one, one and a half lakh rupees realistically and genuinely, right? So that's the underlying statement. So, so therefore I kept the session as two different session. Today it's gonna to be for the people who want to have a knowledge and who want to get into this thing uh, as make it as a profession. And tomorrow it's gonna to be only for the people who would like to make it as a profession. For the people who just want to have a knowledge, I think it's today's session. People who want to make it big, they want to earn one, one and a half lakh rupees and they want to understand how to market, you know, like everything about sales and everything about market, everything about target audience, everything about like, you know, how part, you know, like, and what part is that, that's something that we're going to be discussing tomorrow, right? So with this, I think uh, let's start the session and uh, let's get it go, yeah? So I would be taking a query time to time, you know, like, and towards the end of it, I would be taking and, you know, at the various intervals, I would be calling upon for the query, right? So with this, let's start it. 
So I'm sure uh, everybody is getting my voice, right? Just type uh, audible. Just type audible. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much. Thanks for that. Great, because one person mentioned that is not getting a voice, so therefore I had to cross it. Thank you so much. Now let me share my screen and let me get you directly to the webinar because I understand that, uh, you know. All right. So I'm sure you are able to see the screen. Yeah. Okay. So assuming because I could see that you can see the screen. So the whole idea is that we are now starting the technical session live. So two day live session, career counseling and DMIT counseling. And let's start from the basic understanding. So the first thing that I would like to understand, we would like to understand whom is it for? Is it for you? So if you are an educationist or if you are a teacher, there are a lot of people who are from the background of uh, education. They do join us. They formally or informally are you know, teaching children and they feel that they are good counselors, you know, and uh, they really want to make it as a profession. So it's for educationists, it's for teachers, it's for people who are already doing career counseling and DMIT informally, but they don't really have the right tools or maybe don't have a right kind of a training. The people who are into a job and they want to travel this journey from employee to an employer of, you know, like, so they, it's for them as well. And the people who would like to switch over from the job to an employment or employer, and they want to travel this journey within next three months time, and they want to surpass the income which currently they're drawing, it's for them. It's for housemakers who have a responsibility of the children today, but at the same time, they just don't want, they want something constructive to be done and contribute even to the family income. So it's for them and passionate about passionate individuals. And that's something is the most important, no matter what backgrounds do you have it, because I believe strongly that the knowledge can be acquired. What you require is you have to be a passionate individual. You have to really have a passion for the counseling. That's the thing, right? So I would like you to comment on to the, what's your profession? So if you can quickly comment. So Pratik said he's an educationist. Gurdeep is psychology counselor. That's really nice. Sonia is already a counselor. That's good. Arun is in education field. That's great, Arun. And uh, NLP counselor, 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 numerologist, school owner. That's nice, Arish. Manisha, uh, housemaker. Ramohan, education psychological engineer. So I think there are a lot of people who are from the background of counseling. That's really great. Dentist Rishikesh, that's really nice. So thank you so much for uh, this feedback. So I think that really helps in a way to me. Uh, now the whole idea is, ki, what is counseling? Let's understand that. So most of the people who are already into the counselor, so that's so good to hear. So I think uh, you know, for you it's going to be rubbing effect, right? So counseling is a it's a professional service, right? It's a professional service uh, that is being provided to the team or an individual or a group of people where uh, there is a challenge, you know, which could be related to mental health or it could be related to emotional well-being. It could be related to personal growth. It could be related to career. You know, it could be an anxiety, depression, relationship problem, career, the problem of choosing the right career, addiction, trauma, whatever. So there is a scientific way to actually treat that and basically help the person by asking the right question and understanding and uh, gathering the data and to provide them the solution based on that. So it's a scientific process to provide a counseling to them, right? And then to review it over a period of time. So that's, that's what exactly in a layman's term is the thing all about. So to be a successful career counselor, there are the four things, the counselor, in fact, there are four things that you require. One you require is a passion. You require a passion, a great passion to be a counselor. Second, you require an interaction skills for sure, because uh, I mean, if you don't love interacting, if you don't find, uh, if you're an introvert kind of a person, then perhaps you won't be able to do counseling. Selling skills, yes. I mean, uh, that's the fact of life, you know. While you put across your point to a person to whom you're counseling, that's also called selling. 
And if you want to sustain into this business, that's again selling. So if you want to grow, because business equals career counseling or this thing is equals to, it's a business. And business equals sales, sales equals profit. So at the end of it, you have to be a part of it, right? You have to, you have to be passionate about selling skills. Selling skills should not be uh, kept as like, you know, something which is a side hustle. It is the main hustle and how to do that. Hunger for money. If you don't have a hunger for money, just like doing it for, uh, you know, a purpose of like helping the society, that's a great cause. By the end of it, Guru Dakshana to pehle sabhi lete te. So I think it's an extremely important thing that we shall have a hunger for money if you are going to make it because otherwise it doesn't last for a very, very long time. All right. Okay. So that's great to hear, Banmeet, that you are, you have done the career counseling, right? Great. All right. So having said that, so let's say, uh, so I would like to share with you that it's a six step process of counseling. The very first step is called the challenge, right? I mean, you need to have in a challenge to counsel. I mean, without, if there's no challenge, you can't counsel. The step number one is the challenge. Now, there could be a different type of challenge. A more related challenge with us is today, let's say, it could be a challenge of behavioral issue with the child and the parents are facing a problem. It could be a challenge of uh, like studies. The child doesn't participate into the studies for that matter. Doesn't like to study for that matter. Child can be a slow learner. It could be another challenge. Or another challenge could be that, you know, uh, we we don't know what, what should be the subject or a stream that the child should be selecting. Or another challenge could be perhaps uh, the career. They don't know. I mean, what's the career? Uh, what's the career or what's the profession that best fits in to the child? So these are common challenges when it comes to students, right? So I think that's the first thing. There has to be a challenge, right? And to resolve that challenge, what you have to do is, if a career counselor or any counselor is there, he needs to be or she needs to be building up the repo because without repo, the child will not open up and he will not even share a single thing with you. So you have to know the ways and means and you have to basically be friendly and you have to influence the child, induce enough confidence that you are there to help and you have to build the trust. That's number two. Number three is de-learning challenge. Now, de-learning challenge, when we say, once you understand this is the challenge, now to find the solution, you have to divide the challenge into a couple of parts, like, you know, and you have to delay the challenge so that you can resolve each part and you can try to provide the right solution. So by the scientific process, what you would do, you would then provide the scientific solution to the child or the parents for that matter. And once that's being accepted, you understand this is what needs to be done. Then you need to create a kind of a roadmap that these, this is what the destination is. And these are the steps that you have to follow. And that's what exactly you have to do. And the last but not the least is regularly, you have to review it, right? You have to review, review it very regularly. So these are, these are the things that we need to be doing it. Okay. So these are six steps. Any kind of a counseling is there. These are the six basic steps that we have to take it. Sometimes all these six steps can be taken care in one single sitting. And most of the times, all these six steps are being taken care of two to three sittings, right? That's the way the counseling processes are, okay? Now, the average income, that's extremely important. I am not here to make you millionaire and I can't make you millionaire. Let's be honest. If you are doing something, which is like, you know, I mean, something like a career counseling and the stuff like that, on an average, you can make about 75,000 to a lakh and 50,000. If I take an average and the past experiences of the people who have, who have done it in the past, so there are people who are only making 75,000. There are people who are making even three lakhs. Over average comes out to be about like, you know, this kind of a range, I can try to give it to you. But then there are people who are even making big because the people, then they go to the different level when they, you know, go out from the counselor's level the, the sorry, I mean, they, they, they scale up the business in a different fashion where they start employing the counselors and they start employing the people for the telecalling and stuff like that. So anyway, which we'll talk about that a little later, but I want you to have a very reasonable expectation out of this career. You can genuinely make, genuinely make about lakh to one lakh 50,000 rupees if you are a full-timer 
if you are a part timer you can make about 40 to 50000 rupees per month right now next thing is the scope of career counseling so what is the scope of career counseling there are four things in which i am going to help you if you have the passion if you want to do the academic counseling where a child has got the problem in terms of learning uh, the study uh, he is like you know learning slowly for that matter that could be one it could be behavioral challenge for that matter you know then then you can do the counseling so academic counseling basically relates to enhancing the performance of the child in studies is just what what i call it as a academic counseling second is the career counseling career counseling is primarily to help the child to find and select the stream and then also at the same time to find the right profession for him okay third type of counseling is called relationship counseling which is where two people are getting married and uh, and they want to decide that what are the aspects that you know the husband and what are the aspects that the spouse i mean the would be spouse or the would be husband uh, shall what role should they be playing so they would certainly be it would be always better if husband is good in something or a wife is the male is good in something and the female is good in another thing they have to be the having a veto power of that particular thing they should be the final authority on that particular thing isn't it so that's extremely important to how do you do that scientifically so that's the way relationship counseling where you can divide the role else most of the time when you had that challenge or this rift or an argument it's primarily because the roles are not clearly defined and that's where the major challenges comes in right now another thing is or it could be in a partnership also like you know there are certain people uh, where uh, partnership is Uh, required to be uh, partnership is required to be uh, done like you know two people getting into a partnership of business so that's where in exactly you need to see that who should handle which department who is good at which department that that something is very important right so these are then most important is uh, varun is asking academic counseling so i'll just explain you varun uh, academic counseling is primarily like some children are slow learner right they are not able to learn very fast they don't have an interest in to study you know they are most of the time they are on to the mobile you know all that stuff so this is also something that you need to actually address to you know i mean this is a major concern of the parents today so that's called enhancing the performance is an academic counseling finding the right career or stream is a career counseling anything about two people and compatibility be it business be it relationship is about relationship counseling hr counseling what is hr counseling if an hr has to recruit in most of the organization hr has to do the recruitment now they have to find the aptitude if the if the person has got the right aptitude to be recruited does he has a required skill which is required for this particular role i mean that is what you have to look at and that's when the this thing comes in uh, the the hr counseling also comes in or maybe sometimes a person is not performing into one particular department you can actually put him into another department and you want to understand what is his skills level you know that's what exactly you can do okay you can say that sonia can we consider uh, procasting academic activities also under academic counseling yeah but the scientific process is different but yes you can definitely say that sonia yeah so having said that now coming to uh, tools so ultimately what happens is you need to have the tools you know you just can't do i mean if you want to do a counseling and you feel great about you being a great counselor you may feel great about you being a great counselor if you are not doing it scientifically then it's not impacting you may go wrong it's not your whims and fancies on the basis of which you can counsel somebody you may be a great communicator you may have a good knowledge about the life and the aspects of life but it could be most of the time opinion to have it scientifically you need to have a tool and that should be the structured tool that should give it that should be the tool which should be able to actually give you a data on the basis of which you counsel the people no matter which department are we talking about but in each department for each kind of a counseling you require that and today the only tools that we the best tools that i feel because i've been in this domain for almost about a little more than 10 years and i feel the the tools that are best suited are applied almost any tool and every tool which is possibly available in the market today and i found dmit lifetime is good tool for academic counseling career ke liye psychometric test is 
great tool for that, and that's being like completely rec recognized across the globe, be it Harvard or be it like you know the um, the Microsoft, be it a corporate or be it the you know the best colleges, uh, universities are basically using that. Right, so, and then third thing that we're talking about is the relationship counseling. Now, relationship counseling, again, we have a report called compatibility report, very, very interesting. Tomorrow, I'm gonna be showing you the reports as well. So report, DMIT compatibility test, and then finally, HR, DMIT, HR report. You know, like for HR also, you can either do the HR counseling from the DMIT report, or you can even do this from the, from the career counseling, from the psychometric. Psychometric test is also used for uh, HR counseling and DMIT HR report is also there. But more appropriate and accepted today uh, in the HR, in the organizations would be about psychometric tests. That's what exactly majority of the things uh, people are happening uh, are doing. What I'm trying to showcase you today is everything, right? And it will be your choice. You wanna go for this or you wanna go for this or you wanna go for a combo or you don't wanna go at all. I mean, today, you want to find whether are you able to re re relate with it? Are you able to resonate with the whole process? Okay. Now, having said that, so ultimately today, DMIT has a scope of academic counseling, hai, behavioral counseling, hai, career counseling, and relationship counseling. Hai. Okay. So these are the four uh, scope that we have it. Um, Sony, I'll, I'll answer that a little later. I mean, I'm just answering the general question. What, because there are, there, there are plenty of ones which are there, right? So career coaching and its scope. So let's understand about the career coaching. So what is career coaching and what is the scope? Career coaching, mein, what is important is we need to understand about the stream selection. Bacha 10th, mein hai, he want to get into 11. Most confused, which stream should I be selecting? Right, abda ka dabda, abda ka dabda, and that is the way, you know, few, few kids do it. But honestly speaking, even counselors, jo hote hai na, they are also worried about ki what should, or rather they are more concerned about it. They have done 10,000 counselings. But still, when it comes to their own child, they think, yaar, sahi to kar rahe ho na. am I doing the right thing? I mean, am I selecting? Because the matter of a career, you know. So sometimes they doubt their own, this thing, I mean, is it correct, something, you know. So what I'm trying to say, as a scientific process, you can do that. It's a great confusion. And it's this one-time decision. There's a difference. India, mein, unfortunately, so far, we don't have a second choice. We are making a decision of that when you're at the age of 14, 15. 15 saal ke 10th mein ho, you have to go to the 11th and you have to decide about. You have never been exposed to any career. You have never seen any YouTube video on any, ki, if you want to be a pilot, have you got inside it? Are there videos available which talks about what is the industry like. If you want to be an auditor, are the videos available where a person is explaining about a specific career? If you want to be a, like, let's say, a model, do you only know the glamour or do you also understand what hardship a person will have to go in inside it? Idea is that we don't have many resources to basically go through it and the child will just have to decide on the basis of the peer pressure or the influence that a child gets it across, you know, by, by the school or by whosoever that, uh, you know, like has been talking about or whatever the flow is, whatever the wave is, you know, so people just decide based on that, right? So, and majority of the time we take a wrong decision. And while we take a wrong decision, who's responsible? So to select the right stream, to select the professional uh, and profession, and we have to filter down you require and to do the goal setting, I think it's a serious matter. It's not just like you can do it casually. It's a serious matter. And that's what exactly you need to do it. Yeah, scientifically. So that's what is the career counseling and that is the scope because there's so many kids. If you really talk about, there is a scarcity of counselor. We require 14 lakh career counselors today to cater to a global Counselor to student ratio. It's like a global ratio here ki on these many students, this, this many counselors are required. So you require in India to fill that gap and to meet the global standard, we require 14 lakh career counselors. 
and can you imagine how many do we have we have just we have just 10000 certified career counselors can you imagine the gap and more more the less now the new education system which is getting introduced you require the kind of a scope which is increased is many fold because today aptitude is the best thing even uh, narendra modi ji says that that aptitude ke base pe aapka wo hoga he has a you know like he's given a speech somewhere and that's what he was talking about to the students he was addressing and he was saying ki the the moment you get into the school you need to be having an aptitude test and the basis of the aptitude your further education should be decided and your focus should be on that particular direction right i don't know where does he get the vision but then it's not about him or anybody else but what i'm trying to say is that india the new education policies which are coming up and those are based on the aptitude that the person will have it right so that's a good good sign bahar kya hota hai like you know it's a different thing i tell you like my daughter uh, uh four months back she passed her eight, uh, 12 class and you know i was telling her during that point of time that you are good at mathematics why don't you take science because there would be a lot of options and that point of time she had an influence and she said no i want to take a commerce it's not that i'm pro science but at the same time i knew what she is meant for and what are the calibers that he had she chose to go for a commerce with maths i said fine after 12 what happened was she said she i want to get into tech because without tech nothing is happening in this world everything is tech even if you want to do a business you have to get into tech so you have to learn tech so tech ke liye usne kya kiya usne kaha ki ab mere ko wo padhna hai but india mein what will happen is you'll have to repeat 11th and 12th now fortunately she had to go to us and she got a green card wahan chale gayi aur wahan pe you have a system for example if you do one and a half years of the you know the subjects of science there's something called the community college concept they will teach you that and thereafter one and a half years they will directly absorb the engineering college will directly absorb you in the second year so you don't lose a year so she still have that thing where she has like you know but had it been india we don't have that thing so therefore the selection at that point of time which you do is extremely important so therefore that's the scope and that's the reason why we should be doing it's a 5000 crore industry as it said and uh, in fact if you really understand if i ask you for that madam my dear friends how many career options do you know if i ask you tell me 10 career options in science you know 10 in math sorry 10 in humanities and 10 in commerce perhaps it will be very difficult after 7 8 ten career options you would not be able to, have to really think of it right and you won't even have a details of it so therefore uh, the 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 cutting says that 93 percent people are just aware of about seven options out of the 250 major options that we have it today so that's the that's the reason why we require so ultimately if you if you really want to be a career counselor or a D, dmit dmit counselor or a career coach what you require is a complete system right it's a complete system you have to have a complete system right so what is that system you need a training you need a software because software is the one which will create a report it will give you a scientific data on the basis of this you will be trained to counsel and to learn how to do the counseling then comes the sales funnel part of it because even if you have acquired a knowledge if you don't know how to sell what's the fun you need to understand what is the sales funnel what is the filtration process how many inquiries will come how many will get converted what is needs to be spoken to them there has to be script for that as well you know then on top of it a mentorship a journey because if you are traveling a journey it's not all about the product it's all about how do you counsel it's all about the training it's all about the sales and anybody who has done it not once not twice not thrice but has traveled this journey hundreds and hundreds of times is the one who can actually counsel so so you would be able to do it faster and you'll save money in what otherwise you would have done it in experimenting therefore you require a mentor so training software purchase sales and mentorship these are the four things that you require but most important is the training right now which i am imparting so technical training and business training we are doing technical training today and we are doing business training today as i already already explained you so welcome to the show now we are talking about a technical training but prior to i proceed ahead i would like to uh, share with you who am i because ultimately at the end of it you should know if you are investing time with me is that worth your time 
So uh, very briefly and very quickly, because this I can share otherwise also onto the WhatsApp. I don't want to invest too much of time there, but yeah. Uh, MindTrees was founded in 28 July, 2015. We have trained 10,000 plus kids and 1,000 plus adults in all the programs together. 1,500 plus business partner. In fact, now we have more than 2,000 business partners. 10X growth during the lockdown uh, that we could experience and we were fortunate enough and there's a reason for it. 40 plus products and programs that we have it today and we have done 700 plus career counseling. This is what is single-handedly done by me, but there are other people also who have done it from mine, please. But so I'm just counting about my this thing, right? So this is what exactly is... Uh, is something that uh, is uh, like you know about uh, about me and then accreditations like uh, i'm a certified in nlp i'm certified in midbrain activation psychometric and dmit i am a memory master and a speed reading trainer i'm an edtech business coach where i love helping people into getting into edtech and uh, gone are the days when you have to take years to build up the business i talk about one month flat one month you can build up your business Student empowerment coach, because uh, that's something very close to my heart because I got a very emotional story on that. Uh, maybe some other thing. And personality development, uh, personality development trainer. So this is what exactly I do. Right, uh, Nilesh, your mic was on. So, okay. So now is the technical training that we're starting. So quickly, what will we learn here? So five-step process of career coaching, brain lobes. Brain lobes, ke mein we are going to be learning. Multiple intelligence, ke mein we will understand. McKinsey theory, we'll understand about that. Rias theory, I mean, these are various theories. Then we'll discuss, I'll tell you. Career suggestion process, how do you suggest the career? What is the process for that? Stream selection, psychometric test report and more. I mean, this is something that all we are going to be learning today. Okay. Now, very first thing, which is, uh, I would like to say, how do we choose the career today in, the, in India? So how do we uh, choose? Uh, to Nilesh, your mic is getting on. Please uh, take care of it. So, how do we choose the career uh, today, right? I mean, that's what it is important. Give me a moment, please. Right. So that's what is important. Uh, so you know the 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 way which is completely incorrect. We are we are choosing the career in that particular way. Uh, which is which is about uh, the five step process that we say is there. Um, so first step, first is the income. You know, in India, what happens is there's a wave. Computer engineering, software engineering, computer engineering, software engineering. There was a wave always, and everybody, you know, like had to move towards that. I mean, people were born and they were being programmed like that. That the only subject that you have to take is this, and the only thing that you have to do it is. Uh, right? Give me a moment, I think. Nilesh, your mic is getting on time and again. Can you please control it? Give me a moment. All right. Okay. So the very first, very first thing is the income. So we see where do we get the maximum amount of income. So we know, pe, let's take an example. There was a time when even today the tech is tech is something which never dies. You know, tech tech constantly continues. So, but yeah, competition happens. Then like you know, obviously like uh, that's a different story. But yeah, five step process which we are adopting today is the very first one is the income. Hum dekhte hai, sabse paisa kis mein mil where do we get the maximum amount of money? Then second step, because we know that fine passa is mil rai, but there should be demand also. For example, if you are a cricketer, you have a lot of money. Let's say, I mean, all these cricketers who are playing for India, they get a lot of money, right? But how many people become a cricketer? That's called demand. So if you are a software engineer, and there are a lot of people, companies who are hiring you also. So there's a software engineering, that's a, that's a, that's a thing which gives you a great amount of income. Plus, at the same time, it gives you demand. Also. It has a demand also. So that's the way we select today, right? Third thing is then basis which you know you require a science, you take a science. Fourth thing is the aptitude. It does not have a matter whether you are born to do that. It does not have a matter whether you love mathematics and analytics. But your aptitude gear side mein. No matter. But since 
it's a demand it's in demand you get a lot of income so next 35 to 40 years that we spend by the time we retire at 60 you know we are good with it right then comes the personality we don't care what type of personality it is and therefore today when you go to durgarshan channel the people come with their not really an aptitude even the news readers uh, you will find i mean they are very average for that matter there are lots of people who may have a better this thing but they have to pass an examination to crack an examination to reach there so it's not always about the aptitude whether they have an aptitude or not theoretically they were good they have written it and like now now they are playing a role which they may not be even fit in for so your personality i mean just sorry so your personality is something which is to be there your aptitude your personality and if you have an interest or don't have an interest does not matter so this is what it is so primarily like you know these are the five steps i mean today we are into but is that the correct way is that the right way to actually select the career i am sure you would agree with me that's not the right way because when you do something in which you don't have a strength or an interest what do we get as a result we get stress frustration low self esteem slow growth and these are the things that we live that next 35 to 40 years we actually live in stress and therefore a lack in 16800 hours that we spend during a lifetime while working this is something that gives us stress and we don't feel too happy about it and therefore our child in us dies and we are completely stressed out right so this is this is what is happening now what is your role going to be what is that you have to do so the very first thing is your role is very crucial very important very important for a country very important for you very important for parents because it's again not a side hustle it's a main hustle ultimately what you are going to do is you are going to help parent the parents are going to take a decision on the basis of what you do counsel to them therefore you cannot go wrong because that person is going to select the career and spend 40 years right so whatever you say either has to be correct or you don't have to utter about period so this is a serious thing right so what is the role you have to play you have to educate parents on importance of academic and career counseling today 15% people parents are you know they want to do it there was a time 5 years back less than 5% parents were spending money to do the career counseling but today fortunately people are aware there are more than 15% people now invest with a private career counselor and get the career counselling done that's the data now this will grow further because india is like you know that's the way like we are going so important is that we all have a mutual and you know combined responsibility to educate the parents that if you can spend you know 3000 rupees on a pizza if you can spend you know 50000 rupees on a trip i think once in a lifetime thing thing is something counseling you must do it that the child deserves right it he deserves more than a pizza so this is what is to be explained to the people we need to educate the people that this is to be done second counsel parents students based on scientific tools just not whims and fancies it has to be on the basis of the scientific tool right so now we are talking about the very important thing called the five step process to choose a career we talked about something that this is not the right way and let's talk about what is the right way it has to be the reverse graphic interest usme sabse pehle income thi yahan pe income hum last mein leke aate hain to the right way of setting the thing is the goal setting that's the second part so first is the interest let's say if a child has got an interest into 10 things okay and that is something through a scientific process we are able to identify so you know like so we identified that the child has an interest in 10 things then we say out of 10 things child has only got the aptitude in seven things and that again we identify scientifically out of seven things in which the child has got an aptitude out of the 10 things that he had an interest in now personality uski jo resonate karti hai wo panch jagah karti hai to 10 cheezon mein interest tha teen cheezon mein uska uska aptitude nahi tha he was not capable or she was not capable तो एप्टीट्यूड तो सात ही जगह पे था और सात में से पांच जगह उसकी पर्सनालिटी मैच कर रही है अब आती है डिमांड अब ये तो तीन फैक्टर्स हो गए पहले इसके बेसिस पे हमने प्रोफेशन लगा लिए राइट सो वी हैव आइडेंटिफाइड लेट्स से फाइव प्रोफेशन नाउ 
तो दस में से पांच हो गए अब पांच में हम देखते हैं कि इसकी डिमांड किस किस की है तो डिमांड डिमांड हो सकता है फाइव में से ओनली तीन प्रोफेशन की हो आउट ऑफ फाइव प्रोफेशन ओनली थ्री प्रोफेशन विच हैज गॉट डिमांड एंड आउट ऑफ दो थ्री प्रोफेशन दिस वन प्रोफेशन विच हैज गॉट गुड इनकम ऑल्सो सो यू नो ऑल द फाइव फैक्टर्स आर फॉलोइंग इन प्लेस सो दैट्स द वे यू फिल्टर इट डाउन टू तो डिमांड अगर आपकी तीन की थी और इनकम उनमें से उन उन तीन प्रोफेशन में से इट्स ओनली वन प्रोफेशन which has got a great amount of income so dad is something which the child has an interest in he has got an aptitude for they got a personality that resonates then you have a income in dad and the finally like you know demand and the income hai. and basis which whatever the qualifying criteria is then is the time that you select stream so first you decide basis the aptitude interest and personality was the best career which suits you basis the career what is the eligibility criteria and basis which you are able to select the stream and then comes in career selection and career selection aapne is process se kiya to chances bahut zyada strong hai that the child will be relatively happy and he would be into that particular field for a longer time people do change career people do like you know uh, i've seen lot of people at 40 45 50 even you are there couple of you would change the career and there's no harm today you know it's important thing is we have to revisit our strength we have to revisit this process many instances we have to revisit this process and understand that right so this is what is the thing so wrong way right way wrong way and right way this is the current way and this is the scientific way to do it okay so that's the five step process to do it now i'm coming to a very important part that is the base of it when we call it scientific what is scientific in that we need to understand that right so we have left brain and we have right brain we all understand left control right and right control left we all know right now the thing is we have physically four parts are and physically four parts are but functionally these four parts play a role of five parts and hair also it role there are four functional parts but plays a role of five parts okay now very briefly let me help you to understand that sabse pehle hamara फ्रंट पार्ट आता है जिसका दो काम होता है फ्रंटल एंड प्री फ्रंटल होता है एंड सो एक होता है थिंकिंग ब्रेन एक होता है एक्शन ब्रेन देर सम केड्स एंड सम पीपल हु थिंक लेस एंड टेक एन एक्शन देर सम पीपल हुआ बिन थिंकिंग ऑफ डूइंग आई गिव ए लाइव एग्जाम्पल एंड ईच वन ऑफ यू वुड बी एबल टू रिलेटेड आई डोट नो हाउ लॉन्ग यू बिन प्लानिंग टू बिकम अ करियर काउंसिलर और हाउ लॉन्ग यू बिन प्लानिंग टू बिकम अ डी एम आई टी काउंसिलर और हाउ लॉन्ग यू बिन प्लानिंग टू एक्चुअली गेट इन टू द बिजनेस Now what happens is a couple of people just you know keep on thinking, yar how would I get the customer? How what will happen if I get cheated? How much time will it take? What if I have a fear of failure? Like you know if I, it's not the thing, what if the customer doesn't buy from me? You know I mean all that stuff. Would I be in a position to learn? There are a lot of you know they have not even started, but all those things you know fear factors are. taking a place into his mind or her mind so ultimately you don't even start right so these people continue to keep on thinking and never start there are certain people who think a little and think scientifically thoda sa theka and they dive into it right third kind of a people who don't think and they start so we have three categories of people right i don't know there is nothing called right or wrong it's all about the personality type you know it does not have a matter but what i'm trying to say is thinking and thinking and action both goes together you have to think and take an action some people without thinking take an action wo bolte ya tu bina soche kuch bhi bolta hai yaar you know that is that is what is a good example of quoting like uh, you know like agar aapka action brain is stronger than the thinking brain so you'll take an action you'll speak out anything and then you'll say oh my god yaar i shouldn't have said that right happens happens at times so this is what exactly i am talking about today so prefrontal frontal hamara thinking brain hai aur hamara action brain hai hum sochte hain and we take action action brain is like behavior intrapersonal skill interpersonal skill thinking brain is like a logical hamara logical hota hai like you know hamara logical brain hota hai analytical hota hai scientifically sochta hai reasoning hoti hai that's all come from the thinking brain logical brain right visualization hota hai you know we carry a vision for ourselves so that blue part typically which has been denoted by blue is the part which is called frontal and prefrontal okay 
Now coming to the second part that is called the parietal. Have you heard of the parietal brain? Parietal basically controls uh, controls uh, parietal uh, primarily uh, controls the kinesthetic ability. Like you know, for example, a movement. Now, there are two brains. The kinesthetic is the left and the right. Bhi hai. What is the difference? Left brain is responsible for fine motor skills. Fine motor skills are the I'm sitting at one place and I'm just like, you know, typing something. I'm playing guitar. I'm playing some of the musical instrument. I'm playing drum for that matter. I'm playing with a video game and I'm very good at it or whatever it is like, you know. So some people are really good at it, you know. So, you know, something that you have to do it with your, with your, you know, like foot and maybe with this thing, like, you know, without moving at a, at a specific place you're sitting. But gross motor skill is something where you start moving. You get out of the chair, you perform yoga, you perform dance, you perform dejimba, you, you become an athlete, you're running, you're doing a walking, whatever, you're doing a cycling. That's where you have to, your movement is there from one particular place. So these are two things, kinesthetic, which is our left or right brain, there are two different parts of it, right? Now comes in temporal lobe. What is temporal lobe? Temporal is the ear of the ear. So what processing do it? It processes the audio system. It's your auditory this thing. So left is about the language and right is about the music, right? It is something like left is about the language. For example, there are some, some people who are able to learn the multiple languages very fast. They go to a specific country or a city. They stay there even for a short amount of time, short uh, duration of time, not amount. And they learn, they learn the language very fast. And while there are other people who are not able to do that. I'm from Delhi. I'm born and brought up in Delhi. However, I can't speak a single word of Punjabi. But I know I can understand because I've been born and brought up in the place where uh, everybody around me has been Punjabi. So idea is because I may not be that strong, there are other people who are able to learn faster. So what I'm trying to say is like language is like something. These people pick up the lyrics very fast. You have seen Gane ke lyrics, gana chal raha hai, ek baar, do baar suna, kisi ko yaad ho gaya. Aur hum jaise logon ko, you know, aap des baar bhi karoge to, I'll have to be having a list to speak, to sing the song. So that's the difference, right? So similarly, we are talking about, but ye hai left part ka, jisko hum bolte hai, language. Dousra part control karte hai humara uh, musical. Musical ka matlab ye nahi hoga, that a person will have to be really good at singing. But that part is all about, like, you know, lyrics. Lyrics ko kaise bolna, the way you speak. I'll talk about that a little later because we're just coming to that. So I'm talking about this. Then comes in temporal lobe. And last wala hamara hota hai, occipital. What is occipital lobe? Occipital lobe jo hota hai, that is hamari eyes to yaha pe hai. But eyes ka jo, jo hum dekh rahe hai, whatever that we've been watching, uski processing hoti hai at the back. So ye jo occipital lobe hai, that processes the video information, right? Video information ko process karta hai, okay? So this is the thing. So prefrontal, frontal, parietal, temporal, and occipital, right? Thinking brain, action brain. Ye ho gaya aapka prefrontal, frontal wala. Parietal aapka, that is motor, sensory motor, left wala, sitting at one place, fine motor skill, and right wala, sitting at, I mean, like getting out of the chair and just doing that. This one bolte hai, gross motor skill. So kinesthetic ke do parts hai, left mein, right mein. Temporal ke bhi do part hai. This is doing a uh, language and this is doing this is doing music. That is the tone, temper, volume, the way you speak. Right? And last is called the occipital. So occipital is about processing the visual. Now, ye chara aapka pura system hai. Okay? Now, having said that, what is intelligence? Let's understand people say, ki, ki brain, jo hai na, brain is made up of what? Brain is made up of neurons. Right? So it is made up of neurons. So let's understand what is intelligence. Intelligence ki definition kya We all say this guy is intelligent. This guy is not intelligent. We say Einstein was intelligent, right? But do we say Virat Kohli is intelligent? Do we say Amitabh Bachchan is intelligent? We say he's a good actor. We never say he's, a, he's an intelligent guy. We never say Virat Kohli is an intelligent guy. We say he's a great cricket player. But intelligence we use, karte, where do we use? For Newton. For Sakuntala Devi, you know, for for these kind of a people like who are scientists for that matter, Dr. Abdul Kalam, you know, 
those kind of people that we use intelligence that right so anyway coming so what is intelligence ko define to karne pehle let's do that so intelligence is an ability to solve the problem it's an ability to solve the problem so if i ask you here who is more intelligent amitabh bachchan virat kohli sakuntala devi or mother teresa who is more intelligent tell me just write down to the comment window i want to check which one you feel is more intelligent all four says sonia few says sd okay mother teresa uh, says shajuddin sakuntala devi arun virat kohli sunil devat sd sd hum kisko bol rahe sakuntala devi okay few and uh, Minal, right now for me, Sakuntala Devi. Acha, Minal, I am intelligent. Thank you for the compliment. Okay, all four, all four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right, Sakuntala Devi. Yeah. So that's when. So let me clarify. And few people have answered correctly. Who says is all four? That's correct. So what is the intelligence and ability to solve the problem? my ability to solve the problem could be nahi virat kohli's ability to solve the problem could be that he has got a great observation and a great stamina these are the aptitudes that he has got it so when the ball comes and he has to hit the six he hits the six at the perfect timing with the perfect throw with the perfect intensity and the stamina so it crosses the boundary right if was he not observant if his one other thing is not there then he will not be able to do that but what he can do so he is intelligent to solve the problem of that particular thing however when it comes to mother teresa she is empathetic she is empathetic and she just want to help the people for no reason she just want to help the people for no reason so what she can do can amita bachchan do can virat do cannot what sakuntala devi do can virat kohli do cannot right what amita bachchan can do can virat kohli do what virat kohli can do can amita bachchan do if they exchange the role they cannot do right so ideas they are intelligence in their own very field they know how to solve the problem in a specific area as we have a different brain part तो हमारा जो ब्रेन का पार्ट ज्यादा स्ट्रांग होगा ना उसमें वो करेंगे फॉर एग्जांपल किनेस्थेटिक एबिलिटी इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर स्टेमिना तो विराट कोहली का किनेस्थेटिक वाला जो ब्रेन पार्ट है दैट इज स्ट्रॉगर एंड ऑब्जर्वेशन कम्स फ्रॉम एनदर वन तो वो वाला भी पार्ट स्ट्रांग है तो हमारे ब्रेन के वी गॉट एट पार्ट उसमें से विच एवर द पार्ट आर स्ट्रांगर उसका कॉम्बिनेशन इज रिक्वायर्ड इन अ स्पेसिफिक प्रोफेशन इफ अ पर्सन हैज गॉट दैट he or she is intelligent in that particular thing that's what intelligence said okay now having said that if that's clear so let's understand who is more intelligent the 10th is rats then pigeon then crows then pigs then octopi then african grain parrot is fifth fourth is elephants chimpanzee bottle nose dolphin or orangutan orangutan is the number one which is also kind of a chimpanzee has the picture right now you have a fair amount of idea ki kon intelligent hai we all are intelligent in different this thing but or orangutan is logically considered to be so pehle kya hota tha the people who scored 90% they are considered intelligent the people who are good in sports we say it's useless guy the person who is good at drama we say is useless guy the person who is good at singing if you ask him you are good in singing what do you want to be well i want to be a singer tell me what do you want to be i mean profession ke liye kya karna we never considered that singing can be a profession also majority of the times i am not saying generic it's not a generic statement but most of the time that's what exactly is happening yeah so any which way so what is intelligence let's understand humne intelligence understand kar liya we understand so what makes us intelligent hamara jo neuron count hai na jo neuron hote hai na hamare andar that makes us intelligent hamare andar sabke andar neurons hain brain is made up of what neurons so when we are born we have how many what is like you know hum when we were born we have about 1200 core neurons that goes into a brain and almost every child who is born 
they got a similar kind of a neurons in different brain parts right that's the structure of a brain to usme koi bahut zyada difference nahi hota the percentage could differ percentage generally don't differ the number of neurons could be different differ so what makes you or me different and if neuron zyada hone ka matlab hai the child the person is more intelligent then why elephant is not more intelligent than the human being why is that human being most intelligent have you ever thought of it so idea is anybody would like to reply the idea is it's not the neuron count only it's not the neuron count only is the connections that get established within a specific lobe the higher the connections that we have it in a specific lobe that makes us intelligent in that thing so which means jitni energy jitni current ek brain lobe mein you know like rotate hota hai jitna zyada circuits close hote hain utna person naturally intelligent ho jata hai uske liye wo comfortable ho jata hai therefore some people enjoy studies and other people don't enjoy studies some people enjoy music some people enjoy uh, you know playing around and different people enjoy different things so that is what is a differentiating factor also between why somebody has a liking for studies and somebody is a liking for cricket and somebody is got a liking for music and somebody has got a liking for paint, painting different people have a different choices and that's not the wrong i mean that which is let it be that's the way it has to be right so therefore what i'm trying to say ki we have the different brain connections and the best part is when you are born at that point of time we have a innate potential god has gifted us every human being somebody's prefrontal is strong somebody's frontal is strong somebody's uh, uh, you know like kinesthetic is strong somebody's linguistic is strong somebody's musical is strong somebody visual is strong somebody's naturalist is strong so every person has got a different different uh, parts which are number 1 number 2 number 3 number 4 number 5 but the question to me question to you is how do you come to know that which brain part of yours has got the strongest connection how would you come to know so that's the thing which science has uh, found the answer and let me explain you here comes i am coming to the most interesting fact whether you get into this business or you don't get into the business no matter understand this because you must know this you may have a child and to do a just with a child you must know this okay even if you don't have a child for yourself you must know this and while i'm going to be explaining think which brain part of yours has got more active number of neurons okay so let's start quickly i will talk about that and you'll have to talk about the examples of it in the chat window okay so first let me explain you the intrapersonal intelligence what is intrapersonal intelligence intrapersonal is about the self smart self love what does it mean self smart means that we are uh, all uh, like you know having a uh, plan we are we are very planned we are very organized we know what is good for us we know what is bad for us so you know before taking a step we go into the depths to understand what is good and bad for us and basis which we take a decision we try we are always happy to discover more about ourselves scientifically you know and uh, so we we are always like trying to understand ourselves throughout the life you know you keep on planning for yourself so that's called the intra personal skill intra means self that's called self planning okay any example that you would like to give me the person who is most organized any example maybe i would prefer to have one or two so pius has been fastest faster finger first indra gandhi modi ji captain captain in cricket yeah monitor in class okay sasuma oh my god pius sasuma that's a good example i don't know <laughs> so but yeah there are a lot of sasumas huh, who might uh, kill you okay so owner of industry and entrepreneur great uh sunil says uh, indra gandhi and sachin tendulkar all right right devan principal yes so we were talking about a 
specific people. We are not talking about a category. So let's talk about specific person and should be celebrity. Okay. So now next next level. I would like to tell you interpersonal skill is about the people smart. People smart means you have two kind of a bosses. One kind of a bosses are uh, who are a you know who are a uh, like a taskmaster. They said this is the job has to be done means has to be done. Period. I don't care how do you do that. You have somebody down with a viral in your family. You have to take somebody to the hospital. You are, you are not well. I don't care. This is the target being assigned to you. You have to complete it. Period. That's one kind of a boss. Boss number B. If you have a problem, the person will take care of it. The person will inquire about it. Person to his best level will send the help. Would try to organize something. Would be quite empathetic towards you. And that is what it is. That's the second kind of a boss is, right? So the people who take care of the other people are, are what? They are having an empathy. And therefore, we say always, people work for people. People don't work for organization. Because the, the bosses who are good, they are the ones. For them, the person works at even 12 o'clock. But the person, bosses like, you know, who are just like taskmaster, you know, even the employer generally the time bound, fine, right? You know, so that's the kind of a thing. So any which ways, not getting into the depths of it, what I mean to say is anybody who's empathetic, like, uh, you know, and is able to take care of the other people. And that is what is intra interpersonal skill. Any examples that anybody would like to give? I think somebody would have given already. Cristiano Ronaldo, okay, Dhodi, yes, HR, HR, yes. But it's general, but yeah. Mother Teresa, that's my best example. Saints, trainer, Rajulji, use, teachers, sales, marketing person. I'll give you a chocolate later. So, Sonia uh, Dhoni, Sonia says Dhoni, and uh, Atimis, leader, right. And uh, Banmeet, most of the women. That's great. Very good example. Rishi, Rishikesh is saying Nelson Mandela. Yes, absolutely. So these are the people who are who are like, you know, very this thing. So intrapersonal ho gaya, aapka interpersonal ho gaya. Now coming to mathematical intelligence. Thanks for sharing the examples. Mathematical intelligence. What is mathematical intelligence? Uh, it's meant the people who are good in reasoning and they're good with numbers. For example, unki marital calculation very fast. Hoti hai, hai na? There are a lot of Lala sitting on the Chani Chowk wholesale bazaar. They quickly calculate, you know, they don't require a calculator at all. But any which way, the people who are good in numbers, the people who are very analytical, they, they know how to deal with the data, right? So these are the people who are able to like quickly like do that. So such kind of a people are having a good reasoning also. For example, if you have a decision, you have to reason out. You have to reason it out. That's the thing. So you have a mathematical intelligence for that matter. So mathematical kayon ki bahut strong hoti hai. Generally, agar aap dekhenge, there are eight type of intelligences, right? There are generally nine now, but no ko bahut jada maante nahi hai. Wo spiritual intelligence hoti hai. But ye eight jo hai na, iske, iske upar pura, everything is based today. Everything is based on these eight intelligences. Aapko pata tha ki hamari art intelligences hoti hai. Kuch ko pata hoga, but most of the people would not know. Aur aapko kya pata hai ki kaun sa part hamara strong hai? Abhi aap sahi relate kar paayenge. You know, which of our, because art brain ke part hai. As I said, physical parts of the brain are eight. And we have eight intelligence. That's the logic, right? So, kinesthetic intelligence, so mathematical intelligence ka, I want an answer from you. Who is more intelligent? Sunil says, me? Yes, okay. Shop owner, acha Dayavant is saying shop owner. Full recording, Rajiv Gandhi. Okay, I'll do that. I'll try to do that. Uh, neutron, maths, maths teacher, scientist, owners, Dukandar, Sashurji, engineers and military. Use, huh? Okay, yeah. Who else? Arun Mishra, Kejriwal ji. Okay. Kejriwal ji, who are you talking about? Mathematical. Ah, but calculation was very strong, thi, no doubt about it. And uh, Sonia, engineers and Sunil, I don't use calculator. That's great. Sales people. Uh, sales people, how can you say that they have a great mathematical intelligence? 
no not really albert einstein is a very obvious choice an example yes manmeet says local market vendors all right yeah generally yes rajiv gandhi says uh, thank you sir okay theek hai thank you uh, sunil uh, says ca chartered accountant yeah so generally i am not categorizing बिकॉज कैटेगरी में क्या होता है सारे चार्टेड अकाउंटेंट मैथ्स में स्ट्रॉन्ग नहीं होते हैं रीजनिंग में वो प्रोफेशन चूज कर लेते हैं बिकॉज उसके मम्मी पापा बोलते हैं कि मेरे को ये कर लो बेटा चार्टेड अकाउंटेंसी दे डू इट बट डज नॉट एवर मीन दैट दे हैव दैट इंटेलिजेंस दैट्स वोट एम ट्राइंग टू ब्रिंग अ पॉइंट वेन यू टॉक अबाउट जनरल कैटेगरी दे मे बी देर लॉर्ड ऑफ डे डॉक्टर्स हु वर नॉट मेड टू बी डॉक्टर दे गॉड इन टू इट बिकॉज दे हैव अ फैमिली कल्चर ऑफ एवरीबडी बींग अ डॉक्टर सिमिलरली इट्स फॉर इंजीनियर्स similarly for a lot of chartered accountants similarly for lawyers you will find the places where everybody is a lawyer you know most of the people to wo family culture ban jata hai and they don't even think kya unki intelligence sabki ek hi jaisi hai everybody is only intelligence in one thing no but it has become a family culture and then they start you know like because they are able to help each other in a specific profession so whatever it is right so coming to kinesthetic intelligence kinesthetic is all about um, you know motor skills you know movement and it is also related to stamina to so kinesthetic you can't afford to have a weak kinesthetic you know why because stamina you require for whatever the profession that you get into even if you have a sitting job or you have a traveling job you require a stamina otherwise you'll feel sleepy right so kinesthetic intelligence bahut important hai to so kinesthetic intelligence ke liye aap example dijiye kaun se examples ho sakte hain fine motor skills economist Also, wife, Gurdeep. Okay, Gurdeep is carrying spiritual guides and stages. That was for previous one, right? Okay. C A. Farmer, sales people will come. Yes, true. No. Okay. So again, we are talking about what kinesthetic ability. Uh, ग्रॉस मोटर एंड फाइव मोटर माइकल जैक्सन यस करेक्ट कुछ अच्छे एग्जाम्पल सेम मेरे को विराट कोहली डेफिनेटली ऑल द स्पोर्ट्स पर्सन शो बजीत यूर राइट बिल्कुल ठीक है शाकिर हुसैन भी अच्छा है ना तबला बिल्कुल बिल्कुल सही कह रहे हैं वैसे तो कोई तबला बजा ही नहीं सकता आई मीन एवरी नोट इज सो पावरफुल या स्वामी जी चैटर्जी यस सेम क्रिश्चियन और रोनाल्डो या या एब्सोल्युटली सो सचिन तेंदुलकर एथलेटिक्स ए आर रहमान Bijju Maharaj, yes, absolutely. Go, bang on. Thank you so much for this. Now we are talking about a linguistic verbal in intelligence. Linguistic, as I told you, is all about the language. You know, some people learn languages very fast. Some people, so language me jiska pakad hai, the strong. So who are the people? You know, I mean, jo language me talk about the celebrities who are very powerful. Uh, this thing. Ah, so talk. Let's not talk about general like writers. Let's talk about the specific celebrity. Lata ji has. I'm talking about linguistic. How do we know Lata ji is? Lata ji is a great singer. Does not ever mean that she is a linguistic also. Milton, yes, Milton Erickson, William Shakespeare, obviously, Sasi Tharoor, yes, very good. Chetan Bhagat, yes. Kader Khan, very good. Absolutely, bang on. speakers take it kalidas sunil says yeah great thank you vyas absolutely now we are coming to uh, your fundamental is clear now huh? linguistic ta ho gaya we are talking about musical now here you need to understand when you say musical does not ever mean the person will be a great singer that may happen or may not happen but it's all about how do you deliver the information how do you express yourself how do you emote yourself that's what it is right so musical intelligence ka matlab kya hota hai musical intelligence ka matlab ye hota hai ki aapka tone aapka temper aapka volume aapke pauses that you give while speaking some people are great orator and they have a natural you know this thing where you feel like listening to them right तो कई लोगों को सुनने का मन होता है कईयों को सुनने का बिल्कुल भी मन नहीं करता है उनका कंटेंट बहुत स्ट्रांग होगा बट वो उतने पावरफुली डिलीवर नहीं कर पाते हैं वो सही जगह पे पॉजिज नहीं देते हैं 
वो टेम्पर को कंट्रोल नहीं करते वो टोन को कंट्रोल नहीं कर पाते तो ये भी एक नेचुरल वो है राइट right? तो म्यूजिकल का मतलब वो होता है म्यूजिकल का मतलब बिल्कुल भी म्यूजिक से रिलेटेड नहीं है कि वो सिंगर अच्छा होगा यू मे बी द वर्स्ट सिंगर बट इफ यू आर अ ग्रेट ओरेटर यू हैव अ म्यूजिकल इंटरव्यू ओके ग्रेट सो यू हैव ऑलरेडी गिवन लता जी माइकल जैक्सन इज वन ऑफ द बेस्ट एग्जाम्पल नो डाउट अबाउट इट आफीन खान टोबी रॉबिन्स यस थैंक यू दयावत राजू सर आपने मेरे को ओब्लाइज किया ए आर रहमान यस मिल कौन है मृणल मोदी जी या दैट्स राइट मोस्ट ऑफ वाचक कुरिनेट मोस्ट ऑफ द कथा वाचक कथा वाचक कथा वाचक राइट अरुण ग्रेट अरिजीत सिंह यस बनीत से इज ऑल पब्लिक स्पीकर्स ग्रेट ऑल राइट so okay great so we have a very clear uh, on that jaya kishori sunil says theek hai thank you so much for participation now coming to the uh, naturalist intelligence right naturalist ka matlab ye hota hai ki you are a nature lover you have a love for the pets you have an aquarium you may or may have a aquarium at home you may have a pet at home you may have a love towards the plant these kind of a people uh, naturalist wale jo hote na they are very curious they last lot of questions for example and they are not interested to listen to the answer they just want to ask lot of question they are curious by nature and they have a good observation also for example if you go along with your child who has a good naturalist uh, this thing uh, capabilities and you go to the restaurant you both have spent one hour in the restaurant come back and the child will be able to recollect more things which was there he might say ki sandler was like that and this thing was like that and this thing was that this was good this is bad but parents or maybe they they may not be able to observe so much so here we are talking about a observation and this is a very important one because no matter which profession that you choose your observation has to be good in whichever profession that you choose so in case your naturalist ability and kinesthetic ability are weak you need to be improving it no matter whether that's meant for your profession or not because kinesthetic is directly related to your stamina you have to build the stamina no matter which profession you are in and observation comes from naturalist so you have to be very strong in that also so you need to develop that right if it is weak in that case then comes in the naturalist ke example dena jayenge aap log kaun hai naturalist salim ali okay पॉल बेटी से सलीम अली पॉल ने भी यही बोला बेटी ने भी सलीम अली बोला दैट्स ग्रेट माइकल जैक्सन सुनील से इज हैज नेवर ओके नेचुरलिस्ट या एब्सोल्युटली डेन से इज पिकासो फोटोग्राफर यस एब्सोल्युटली मोदी जी यस एब्सोल्युटली बियर गिल्स मैन वर्सेस वाइल्ड ओके यस ऑल राइट ग्रेट So thank you so much for the same. And now we are talking about farmers, M F S N. Yeah, M F S N is a good example, but he will fit in the next one, next one. Eighth and last is we are talking about a visual special. Visual special का मतलब होता है कि ये कहाँ से आता है, कौन से लोब से आता है पहले मेरे को बताओ. Quickly, which lobe does the? ये सारे लोब से आ रहे हैं ये सारे intelligence. We have a different parts of lobe, ना? Occipital. Thank you, Deepak. Paul, thank you. Yeah, Sonia, thank you. Also, petal lobe. So, visual special. सारी चीजें processing यहाँ पे हो रही है ना? So, यहाँ पे, right? तो ये पूरी processing हो रही है. तो ultimately, also petal lobe है. वो visual को वो करता है. इसका एक example देते हैं. कौन सा ऐसा profession है जिसमें visual सबसे ज़्यादा strong सी होता है? Photographing, ये yeah, photographer profession है. Yes. और बताओ. और कौन सा प्रोफेशन है आर्किटेक्चर एब्सोल्युटली डिजाइनर्स यस एब्सोल्युटली पेंटिंग इंटीरियर डिजाइनिंग मीडिया फिल्म डायरेक्टर यस एब्सोल्युटली ग्रेट थैंक यू सो मच सो विजुअल स्पेशल इज अबाउट थ्री डी विजुलाइजेशन आपका थ्री डी का जो डिस्टेंट का जो वो है वो क्या है फॉर एग्जाम्पल आर्किटेक्ट you know before the building comes in in reality it has already come into his mind so that is something which he has created a blueprint to explain the public that this is what it is 
they have created those 3d stuff and all the stuff and then finally the building comes in right isn't it so this is something or even interior designer as in krishnan as you said is there so you know if you have to color the you have to place the objects at different places the furniture you know how the room will look board what are the colors on the wall what which wallpaper or what texture designing or whatever it is right so town planners yes absolutely great so musical prayer dane that's right oni krishnan you're right town planner dane and deepak storyteller yes interior decoration sunil yeah film director so yeah that's correct so i'll give you an example for example you've seen some people while they reverse the car they're able to take it very quickly and there are some people who struggle वो दो तीन बार आगे पीछे करके भी वो नहीं निकाल पाएंगे उनके लिए बड़ा चैलेंज होता है जब रिवर्स करना है ना कार एंड रिवर्स करके यू हैव टू टेक इट और यू वांट टू पार्क द कार देयर यू फेस अ चैलेंज एंड यू कम टू नो हु हैज अ स्ट्रांग विजुअल समबडी हु डज इट कंफर्टेबली हैज गॉट अ गुड 3D सेंस स्ट्रांग विजुअल परसेप्शन है एंड समबडी हु टेक्स अ लॉट ऑफ टाइम एंड यहां देखता है वहां देखता है नॉलेज स्टफ वहां चैलेंज है सो ये हमारे आर्ट टाइप के इंटेलिजेंस होते हैं विजुअल स्पेशल में एग्जांपल देना चाहेंगे मेरे को जनरल नहीं चाहिए फैशन डिजाइनर मेरे को पर्टिकुलर पर्सन चाहिए कादरी जी इंडिया नंबर वन आर्किटेक्चर आर्किटेक्ट कादरी जी ओके या दैट्स दैट्स वेरी नाइस सो थैंक यू सो मच फॉर गिविंग एन एग्जांपल विंसेंट वैन पॉल सेस सभ्य जी मुखर्जी सुबजीत वास्तु एक्सपर्ट दयावत Sunil ji, uh, Sunil Sethi is is his son-in-law. Okay, um, right. Sabir Sachi, Swami ji, Chaturji. Thank you so much. Yes, Kadri. Yes, Kadri. Okay. All right. Right. Tahilani. Tahilani. Kya likha hua hai? Tahilani. Okay. Cinematographer Michael Anglo. M. F. Hussain. M. F. Hussain. correct great thank you so much so i think now it's clear right so i'll quickly just visit once again this is the most ye koi bhi cheez hai na counseling ka sabse important part ye hai sari counseling basis ke upar hai chahe wo career counseling ho chahe wo study skills ho chahe wo koi bhi cheez ho behavioral everything basically comes from this fundamental chare aap pura psychology pad lo sab kuch kar lo this is the main theory which was launched in 1983 and i want uh, you to know and i'm sure few of you would be knowing this theory was coined by dr howard gardner in 1983 he published the book called frame of minds and there he had put across this thing that why do we call the person who is who scoring 90% is the intelligent iq level was the only criteria to consider this guy is intelligent why is that so तो वाई इज दैट द पर्सन हु इज गुड इन स्पोर्ट्स इज नॉट इंटेलिजेंट तो उस थ्योरी को पूरा एक ऑर्गेनाइज करके उसके ऊपर वो किया था एंड दैट वॉज इनिशियली यू नो उसको बहुत अपोजिशन मिला था एंड बाद में जाके उसको एक्सेप्ट किया गया था आज की डेट में टूडे द एंटायर वर्ल्ड इज यूजिंग दैट एंटायर वर्ल्ड इज यूजिंग दैट राइट सो दिस इज द थिंग एंड ये साइंटिफिक भी है आपको अलग जैसे विजुअल जो आपका है ऑस्पिटल लोप से आता है नेचुरलिस्ट जो आता है ये वाले आपके लोप से आता है राइट किनेस्थेटिक यहाँ पे टेम्पोरल लोप से आपका आता है यू नो सॉरी पेराइटल लोप से आपका आता है यू नो नेचुरलिस्ट आपका इससे यहाँ लॉजिकल वाले ये आपका कौन सा लॉजिकल वाला आपका कौन सा ब्रेन होता है दिस प्री फ्रंटल फ्रंटल सो प्री फ्रंटल ब्रेन से आता है फ्रंटल ब्रेन से आपका इंटरपर्सनल और इंट्रापर्सनल आता है सो एंड आपका लैंग्वेज वाला जो कहाँ से आता है डैट कम्स फ्रॉम द टेम्पोरल और फाइन मोटर और जो ग्रॉस uh, मोटर है वो किन स्थिति का यहाँ से आता है तो आपके जो फाइव प्लस फाइव जो लोब्स हैं ना टेन लोब्स हैं और एट जो फंक्शनल वो है उसके बेसिस पे आपके इंटेलिजेंसेस आते हैं राइट तो अब डीएमआईटी और साइकोमेट्रिक में क्या फर्क है वो मैं आपको आगे बताता हूँ बट या आई थिंक आपका बेसिक कॉन्सेप्ट क्लियर हो गया नाउ लेट्स टॉक अबाउट द मैकेजी थ्योरी नाउ दिस वॉज द फर्स्ट थिंग जो जो यू नो विच वॉज बींग डन बाय द like uh, this guy what do you call it uh, uh, mr harvard gardner who was from harvard school but then this another person called mckinsey he came in he said art intelligence hai kya hum isko group kar sakte hai can we group it and further classify into three different different things 
सो ही डिड द सेम जॉब उसने विजुअल प्लस इंटरपर्सनल को बनाया लॉजिकल म्यूजिकल एंड नेचुरलिस्ट को वो किया एंड वर्बल वर्बल इंटरपर्सनल किनिस्टेटिक को कंबाइन किया तो एक हो गया आपका एनालिटिकल डोमेन फर्स्ट वन दैट इज एनालिटिकल डोमेन विच कंसिस्ट ऑफ लॉजिकल म्यूजिकल एंड नेचुरलिस्ट दूसरा डोमेन हुआ आपका दैट इज इंटरक्टिव डोमेन विच कंसिस्ट ऑफ वर्बल इंटरपर्सनल एंड किनिस्टेटिक एबिलिटी तीसरा जो हुआ डोमेन आपका इंट्रोस्पेक्टिव हुआ जो कि इंट्रा इंट्रा इज सेल्फ सेल्फ लर्निंग यू नो इट्स इट्स लाइक सेल्फ डिस्कवरी एंड विजुअल बिकॉज आप विजुलाइज कर रहे हो चीजों को राइट तो ये इंट्रोस्पेक्टिव डोमेन हुआ तो ये तीन चीजें जो हैं आपकी अलग अलग डोमेन हुई एनालिटिकल या तो इधर यू विल बी एनालिटिकल और यू विल बी इंट्रैक्टिव और यू विल बी इंट्रोस्पेक्टिव तो जिसमें टोटल पॉइंट्स आपके ज्यादा होंगे तो वो नंबर आपका आता है जैसे ये आपकी एक साइकोमेट्रिक रिपोर्ट है इसमें 40.64 परसेंट इसका हाईएस्ट है तो द जिसकी भी ये रिपोर्ट है उसमें है तो देखो एवरीबडी विल हैव ऑल द थ्री ऑफ देम बट जो सबसे बड़ा क्लासिफिकेशन है कि दिस गाय इज इंटरक्टिव इन नेचर सो इफ यू इवन इफ यू हैव अ फील्ड वेर अ पर्सन बिकम्स गोज इन एनी फील्ड बट उसके अंदर वेन यू हैव टू सिलेक्ट द डिपार्टमेंट दैट्स वेर इन ऑल्सो इट हेल्प बिकॉज इफ यू आर इंटरक्टिव इन नेचर तो इंट्रैक्टिव की वजह से आप हो सकता है मार्केटिंग में चले जाओ हो सकता है ट्रेनिंग में चले जाओ यू नो सो उस कंपनी के अंदर उस यू आर एन इंजीनियर इट्स गुड बट इट हैज गॉट लॉट ऑफ रोल्स टू प्ले सो यू कैन एक्चुअली गिव अ टेक्निकल ट्रेनिंग इफ यू आर इंटरक्टिव ऑल्सो एंड योर लॉजिकल इज ऑल्सो गुड राइट सो दस द वे द कॉम्बिनेशन आर डन एंड जनरली इट इज बींग डन बाय द रिपोर्ट ऑनली यू जस्ट हैव टू इंटरप्रेट द थिंग coming to the personality type so ultimately let's talk about it this is something this is all a part of the this is all the part of which report this is the part of uh, uh, psychometric test report that i'm sharing right now these are the real report uh, screenshots that i've taken and uh, look at this this is the rias theory now rias theory is all about the type of personality you hold there are different ways to choose there are people who do mbti there are people who do rias there are people who do other things but this is simple and understandable this divides this into the six different domains realistic investigative artistic social enterprise and conventional i am sure you are not able to see that but that's not important i am here to explain you the concepts right now just understand the concept realistic theory kya hoti hai realistic hai jo physical and outdoor activities hands on tools oriented knowledge तो एनी बडी हु डज वुड लाइक टू डू समथिंग फिजिकली एंड आउटडोर एक्टिविटीज जिसको अच्छी लगती है खुद करना पसंद करता है यू नो डेट इज द पर्सन इज एन रियलिस्टिक पर्सन राइट एंड अदर इज लाइक यू हैव अ पर्सनैलिटी ऑफ एन इन्वेस्टिगेटिव द पीपल हु आर गुड इन रिसर्च इंटेलेक्चुअल क्यूरियसिटी होती है एंड लर्निंग साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी दोज आर इन्वेस्टिगेटिव काइंड ऑफ पीपल आर्टिस्टिक काइंड ऑफ अ पीपल आर हुज गॉड अ एस्थेटिक सेंस एंड एक्सप्रेशन they have a feeling passion creative design in all this the passion designer interior designer architect these kind of a people might fall into this thing next is and, and definitely the photographer they definitely the painters you know these people fall into that and uh, then comes in the social conveying understanding others personal relationship you know the people who are very social they would like to help the other people they would like to be a part of the you know like team they are a great team worker you know तो ये सोशल होते हैं ये किसी भी पार्टी में जाके दे बिकम द यू नो लाइक द सेंटर ऑफ अट्रैक्शन इन द पार्टी दे लव टू हेल्प द पीपल दे आर ऑलवेज एक्सट्रोवर्ट काइंड्स दैट्स सोशल राइट एंड वी आर वेरी एम्पेथेटिक टाइप्स एंटरप्राइजिंग टेकिंग एक्शन अंडरस्टैंडिंग अंडरटेकिंग प्रोजेक्ट्स लीडिंग मैनेजिंग यू नो दीज आर ऑन्टरप्रीनियर्स दे हैव गॉट लाइक यू नो दे आर इनिशिएटिव दे आर टेक इनिशिएटिव टेकर कन्वेंशनल Conventional people are having a planning, structuring, processing data and figures. ये इस तरह का तो हमारी जो personality होती है ना वो six types में से किसमें होती है जो highest होती है ना for example इसमें जो highest है enterprising है तो this child जिसकी भी ये report है seven point three three is the highest. तो we don't explain everything to the parents. We say he has a enterprising personality. तो उसका जो focus है we don't have to confuse by saying ये भी है ये भी है ये भी है इसमें इतना percent. That's not your role. your role is that the data which is given the software which has already done the job your role is going to be to tell the parents that child 
has got an entrepreneurial capacity and the capability and the aptitude so his health his journey has to be created and the road map has to be created for him like this right which will take him to this destination and rest we will plan the journey so that's what the role of the career counselor is going to be okay similarly similarly so this has been explained ab aap dekhenge ki for example uh okay for example agar person jo hai wo investigative hai research learning science and technology so this guy i'm just taking an example right so what type of personality would he have he will be investigative tend to be curious about everything they are constantly seeking to learn about and understand their environment they are precise intellectual and have a scientific mindset ye uski personality hai to humko ye samajh aa gaya hum bacche ko waise accept karenge because humko pata hai kyunki ye child ka ye wala part strong hai to iski personality is type ki hai now hum samjhenge what is the values of it intellectual curiosity critical thinking and logic ye iski values hai isme hi strong hai पोटेंशियल एप्टीट्यूड क्या है रिसर्च है लॉजिकल रीजनिंग है लर्निंग है एनालिटिकल कैपेबिलिटी इसकी पोटेंशियल एप्टीट्यूड है लर्निंग स्टाइल क्या है लर्न बाय थ्योरी एंड सिस्टमैटिक रिसर्च वो पूरा रिसर्च करेगा जस्ट बिकॉज यू हैव सेड ही विल नॉट गेट बाय इट ही विल बाय इट ओनली वन सी नोज ये पूरा सिस्टमैटिकली रिसर्च करके देन उसके बाद ही विल मूव फॉरवर्ड थिंकिंग पार्ट स्ट्रॉन्ग है एनवायरमेंट investigative types are most comfortable in changing and thought oriented environments that favor favor expertise over productivity expertise over productivity so is tarah ka usko environment chahiye grow hone ke liye learn karne ke liye this is the thing so aapko you are coming to know about your child so much you are understanding the logics you are understanding the the type of multiple intelligence you are understanding the interest level you understanding the type of personality that the child carries and that's the power of it right okay great so with this we go to the next level and that is jab ye sab ho gaya aapke paas ye data collect ho gaya to aapko to obviously pata chal gaya na what is the best this thing so you have to suggest so this software what it does is it helps you to mark broader terms mein इसने पहले तो वो डिफाइन किया है कि ये ये सारे दीज आर डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ वेरी वेरी ब्रॉड टर्म्स वेरी ब्रॉड टर्म्स इट विल टेल यू कि दिस सिंगल पेज विल टेल यू कि विच आर द थ्री प्रोफेशन विच आर गुड फॉर यू नाउ फॉर एग्जांपल इज सम सम फॉर समबडी मैंने जान पूछ के सिंगिंग इसमें तो ये तीन प्रोफेशन को मार्क करेगा ऑटोमेटिकली दिस रिपोर्ट विल मार्क दैट दीज आर द थ्री प्रोफेशन विच आर बेस्ट सुटेड फॉर द चाइल्ड बेस इज द इंटरेस्ट and the aptitude and the personality uske basis pe ye teen profession hai ab ho sakta hoga yaar i am not interested you know in singing to so singing ka matlab jaise maine bataya tha iska matlab ye nahi ki aap great you can be a trainer you can be a counselor you can be a uh, news reader you can be an rj you can be because singing ka matlab aapki expression the way you express your tonality your temper and all this stuff is good right so we need to interpret that other way to sochega hai main to singing mein to awaaz kharab hai main to singer hu hi nahi aur wo kahega nahi report galat hai nahi you need to have and you need to enter to interpret and if a person is not interested in that profession you go to the second profession and third profession right so this is the thing and then am i based iske andar ek report ke andar hota hai that is agar samajh lo aapka naturally strong hai to what are the profession which are best suited for you तो नंबर वन कौन सा है नंबर टू कौन सा है नंबर थ्री कौन सा है नंबर फोर कौन सा है नंबर फाइव कौन सा है सिक्स सेवन एट ये आपको एकदम बता देता है तो आपको ये पता है नंबर वन मेरा था समझ लो मैथमेटिकल में मैं क्या बन सकता हूँ मैथमेटिकल नंबर वन है तो आई कैन बी अ ग्रेट अकाउंटेंट आई कैन बी अ ग्रेट ऑडिटर कंप्यूटर एनालिस्ट कंप्यूटर टेक्नीशियन कंप्यूटर प्रोग्रामर डेटा डिजाइनर डिटेक्टिव यू नो इकोनॉमिस्ट इंजीनियर लॉयर ऑल इट स्टॉफ मैथमेटिशियन स्टॉफ लाइक दैट If you have a interpersonal skill growth, you can be an actor, administrator, communication manager, conflict resolution specialist, you know, cruise director, customer service representative, stuff like that. So, अभी हमको clarity हो गई. दिमाग के पांच parts थे यहाँ पांच parts यहाँ. वहाँ से आठ part total हमारे थे physically. वहाँ से हमारा multiple intelligence आया. Multiple intelligence क्योंकि वो based on this thing कि कहाँ पर हमारा round count. उससे हमारी रिपोर्ट हमने इंटरेस्ट कैप्चर किया जब बच्चे ने 
when the child has got the he has written the like you know the news he has written the um, there's a questioner that's being given to the child so there are eight multiple intelligence or 80 questions 80 question hote hain 10 question hote hain relate to one multiple intelligence so eight multiple intelligence hai 80 questions ho gaye usko 1 2 3 4 mein se ek answer dena hai for example i want to test your musical intelligence so i'll say do you play a musical instrument let's say you play a great you are a great guitarist you'll say four you are learning a keyboard uh, sorry you are learning a keyboard maybe you'll say three you have not learned it right now if you have a bit interest you always think yeah, kabhi sochunga, kabhi sikunga. like somewhere suppressed interest you might say two you don't have an interest at all in this you'll say one that's the way the child answers the thing so it's my mix karke randomly 10 question music se related honge, 10 language se honge, 10 naturalist se honge, 10 logical se honge. 80 questions a child which has answered. So, software kya kar raha hai? Software is just calculating those questions. Aur usko wo karke, usne 1, 2, 3, 4 karke ranking kar di. Ranking ho gai aapki? Ab ranking honne ke baad aapko ye pata chal gaya ki iska to visual wala strong hai. Aur second jo hai aapka naturalist bhi strong hai. Third singing strong hai. So now you know that this report will tell you what to do, but you can do it manually. The most strong is that you go first, then the second strong, then the third. Right? Like in kinesthetic, there are a lot of people who feel, you know, my child cannot go into the kinesthetic. I don't want to make it a dancer. There's no money. You don't get money in dancing. You don't get money in being a sports person. So I want to avoid that. So we'll say, okay, this was number one. What is the number two? Number two has a visualization, let's say. So, visualization may be very cheesy. He can be an architect and a lot of stuff, you know. He can be an interior designer or she can be a fashion designer, stuff like that. So, you can guide. So, that's the process to guide the person about the career. Okay, that's the process I'm talking about. Okay, now having said that, once this is being done, so what do you have to do? You'll have to give him the suggestion that. What are the 25 ways to enhance the logical? If it's logical weak, then it has to enhance it, increase it, then what will it do? What are the 25 ways? What are the 25 ways to improve the body kinesthetic? If your kinesthetic weak, then how will you improve it? So if your kinesthetic is improved, then maybe the child likes swimming, maybe he likes cycling, maybe he likes running, maybe he likes athletics, like maybe he likes walking or playing a badminton. So, what will you do? You said you want to improve. Na. These are 25 ways. You identify 3 to 4 ways and you say cycling can be done on a bi-weekly basis. Swimming can be done on a weekly basis. Whatever the child wants to do, as a counselor, you discuss and create a roadmap. Okay, to develop this particular thing, you are going to do this, 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 this. This is the way your kinesthetic will be improved. To improve the visual ability, this is the way, these are the activity that you'll do. So what are you going to do is to create a roadmap. That's your job as a career counselor. That's your job as a counselor also, right? So this is about the, you know, career counseling part of it. A career counseling clear ho gaya. So aapko bahut maza aane wale hai. Next five, ten minutes, I'm gonna close down this session. I don't know what is the time. It's nine, right? Then we started at 7.30. So logically, I got half an hour. And I want you to understand because this is going to help you. Mujhe nahi pata kitna time lagna hai. 15 minutes khatam hota hai. Half an hour khatam hota hai. But important ye ki ye aapke kud ke liye, aapke kids ke liye, aapke profession ke liye, har ek ke liye this is going to benefit. So ab hum aate hai bohut hi important report pe that is called DMIT. What is DMIT first? Let's understand. DMIT is called Dermatographic Multiple Intelligence Test. What is Dermatographic Multiple Intelligence Test? Let me come. Okay. Give me a moment, please. Let me have a glass of water if you don't mind.
All right. Thank you so much. Okay. So far, any questions? All right. So if you have a question, you can write down. Otherwise, I'll take it towards the end of it, right? Okay. So let's talk about uh, DMIT. So what is DMIT? DMIT is called Dermatographic Multiple Intelligence Test. Derma is skin and graphics are the pattern on our skin. Kewali jo line hoti hai, jo is jo palmistry line isko nahi bolte hai. Ye nahi hai prints. Ye is uske, is, iske andar jo lines hai na, ye saare jo patterns bane hu hai. Ye saare isko bolte hai. To fingerprint pattern humare, humare jo five aise patterns hoti hai, jo alag alag hoti hai. They are at a different places and they are very unique. And therefore, I'm bolte hai ki, you know, thumb impression se, mobile, open, because that's very unique for every child, right? We all understand. So, soul pe bhi hote hai, tongue pe bhi hote hai, humare fingers pe bhi hote hai. So, it's just sabse functional hote hai, jo hum use kar sakte hai, toes ko to use kar nahi sakte hai, tongue ko bhi use nahi kar sakte hai. This is the place, right? So, isko hum use kar sakte hai. Now, understand the science behind DMIT, okay? Dermatographic multiple intelligence cells. See, multiple intelligence, as I told you, is a concept that was coined by Dr. Howard Gardner. And uh, DMIT, the dermatographic multiple, uh, uh, DMIT, dermatographic, derma skin and graphics are the pattern, as I said. So, ye do sign, ye char signs ko uh, mila ke ye bana hai. Pali signs hai derma, dermatographic, dushri neuroscience hai, tishri embryology hai. And derma, neurology, embryology, and uh, si hai? Uh, embryology, derma, neuroscience, e core science. I'm just skipping the name. There are four sciences which are primarily involved into it, right? Now, what happens is ye charo science ko mila ke wo ek bana hai. So what how it started? It was about Almost 150 to 200 years back, there were a couple of kids who were born in different part of the world. And these kids didn't have cortex. Cortex is our portion of the brain. Unka dimang upar wala nahi hota hai. And these kids don't survive for more than 24 hours. Now, it was observed that all these kids, wherever in this whole world were born, all these kids who were not having a, uh, like, you know, the, uh, the, the cortex were not even having a fingerprint. And it couldn't have been a coincidence that they don't have a fingerprint. So that came into the limelight and that caught an eye. And after the research started, uh, the, it caught an eye of the medical practitioners and the scientists. And then people started researching on that. There were 800 papers over a period of time which were being submitted. A lot of findings were being shared. And you know there were forums which were being made. And a lot of stuff happened. Dr. Harold uh, Cumin is considered to be a father of uh, dermatographic, DMIT. He took the fingerprint of 5 lakh people and, uh, and it was realized that the medical practitioners realized when the child is born, there's a 1200 crore neuron that goes into the brain of a child. And these neurons are basically like these neurons are uh, the ones like, you know, which are almost equally being divided as, as I told you earlier. But the, the charges in different levels are different. Now, what happens when the child is in mother's womb from, you know, fourth month to 13th week, fourth week to 13th week, the brain and the fingerprint simultaneously gets developed. And fingerprints develop, the type of fingerprint which will be developed is based on the mother's emotion. And mother's emotion comes from the vibration. So, sorry, vibration vibration comes from the mother emotion. Mother ka jo emotion hoga, wo vibration bachcha feel karega. To jaisa vibration bachcha feel karega, uske hesaap se uske fingerprint bhi pattern hoga, aur uska brain development bhi hoga. And that's the reason hum bolte hai na, ki us wakt aapko ye padna chahiye, achcha padna chahiye, you should be very positive, you should not be stressed. These are because of that. Uske musics bhi aate. Even we have a music Pregnancy ke liye humayi paas ek music hota hai. Jisse ki bachcha jab paida hota hai, to like, you know, uh, uska left of brain, uh, right brain, jada balance hota hai. But that's different thing. I don't want to talk about that right now. But what I'm trying to say, so DMIT se ye hua ki, 
लाइक जो बंदर के इमोशन के बेसिस पे उसके फिंगरप्रिंट फॉर्म होते हैं एंड जितने भी ब्रेन के अंदर एक्टिव होते हैं जैसे हमारे दस पार्ट ऑफ द ब्रेन है दस फिंगरप्रिंट है एंड टेन पार्ट ऑफ द ब्रेन इट इज लाइक दैट प्री फ्रंटल फ्रंटल यू नो टेम्पोरल पेराइटल टेम्पोरल हॉस्पिटल इसी तरह ये वाला होगा तो जो हम बात करते हैं फिंगरप्रिंट पैटर्न दस फिंगर के प्रिंट्स लेते हैं एंड दो प्रिंट्स के बेसिस पे वी क्लासिफाई डैट इन टू टेन पार्ट सी वट वॉज डन बाई डॉक्टर क्यूमिन वॉज लाइक ही टुक द फिंगर प्रिंट्स ऑफ फाइव लैक पीपल एंड बाई द वे ऑफ समराइजन क्लासिफिकेशन यू नो ऑल दट स्टाफ ही एक्चुअली क्लासीफाई दैट इन टू टेन डिफरेंट पार्ट नहीं ट्वेंटी डिफरेंट फिंगर प्रिंट्स so type of fingerprint reflects the kind of a you know the brain cells which are active in your brain neuron so kis brain mein kitna activity chal rahi hai wo aapko kaise pata chalta hai wo aapko utne aapke ridges hote hain jo fingerprint mein jo patterns hote hain jitne zyada honge which means us brain ke part mein utni zyada activity hai right jaise ped ko pehle we used to cut it and we used to find out the age of a tree By the number of you know circles, whatever it's there. Similarly, that's the science. So, just me, you know, this is how you know how like you know what is that? Jahan pe kahan pe activity hai. So, what DMIT tells you is DMIT ko to kya kya later? Ah, uh, this science ko that is dermatographic ko or multiple intelligence ko mix kia or usko banake or jo four different sciences thi usko milake like finally ek apki लाइक डीएमआईटी का जो कॉन्सेप्ट है वो प्रोड्यूस हुआ एंड देन फाइनली लाइक यू नो देर लॉट ऑफ रिसर्च इन एवरीथिंग वेंट इन टू बाई एंड देन फाइनली लाइक इट वॉज ऑलमोस्ट अबाउट फिफ्टीन ईयर्स बैक इन इंडिया इट्स बीन ऑलमोस्ट अबाउट नाइन टू टेन ईयर्स बैक वेन इट केम एंड फॉर्चुनेटली आई वॉज अ पार्ट ऑफ इट वेन द फर्स्ट टाइम इट केम इन टू द कंट्री एंड आई हैड स्पेंड माई सिक्स मंथ एट डैट पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम देन मैं उसको गैप दे दिया था एंड देर आफ्टर अगेन आई स्टार्टेड and i did when i started doing it i realized the potential of it i realized there is no other instrument in this whole world which can actually help you to understand that see kya hota hai dmit agar aapko main bolu ki hum kuch bhi purchase karte hain we get the brain manual hai na for example we get the manual for example aapne uh, mobile kharida you will get a manual how to operate it you buy a refrigerator you get a manual you get a tv you get a manual With anything you get a manual, but human beings के साथ there's no manual that comes along, and you don't know how to nurture the child. Now nurture the child without the data, how would you do that? If you have a data, then only you can nurture the child, na? Otherwise, if you don't know the nature of a child, how do you nurture the child? So DMIT is the only tool which gives you the data enough to actually help the child grow. Now, DMIT और इसमें बेसिकली फर्क क्या होता है साइकोमेट्रिक में डीएमआईटी भी आपको करियर के बारे में बताएगा वो भी आपको स्ट्रीम के बारे में बता देगा लेकिन साइकोमेट्रिक भी बता देगा बट साइकोमेट्रिक इज अबाउट एक्वायर्ड एंड डीएमआईटी इज अबाउट इन नेट डीएमआईटी विल टेल यू वट यू आर बॉर्न विथ साइकोमेट्रिक विल टेल यू वट यू एक्वायर्ड ओवर द पीरियड ऑफ टाइम सो इफ आई टू सजेस्ट समबडी वट इज द बेस्ट स्ट्रीम फॉर यू and i have to suggest somebody what is the best uh, profession for you i will not use the dmit do dmit tells me i will use the psychometric because while if let's say you are in 15 years of age in 15 years you have acquired lot of skills and that dmit will not show so therefore and i can't ignore it because i have acquired that i have worked towards it so while i take a decision of which field i have to get into I have to go as per the current status. I I can't take the you know 15 years old status and the data to decide my career today. So therefore, career coaching के लिए career counselling के लिए always psychometric is used. Psychometric is more relevant for 14 years to and above. DMIT is more relevant to one to one year to 14 years. In fact, it is even related to 50, 60 years of age person. उसको भी अपना data मिलता है. बट क्योंकि ये इननेट रिपोर्ट है तो दिस इज मोर क्लोजर द यंगर इट इज मोर एक्यूरेट यंगर केस में 97 परसेंट एक्यूरेटी रहती है जैसे जैसे आप बड़े हो गए तो आपने एक्वायर किया बहुत सारा डेटा तो आपका जो रेलेवेंस होगा वो थोड़ा सा कम हो जाता है लेकिन फंडामेंटल रेलेवेंस सही होता है इसलिए बहुत ज्यादा फर्क नहीं पड़ता स्टिल क्लोज टू नाइन्टी परसेंट आप रिलेट कर पाते हो जनरली राइट right? 
बट सबसे ज्यादा फायदा किसको होता है डीएमआईटी का फॉर अ चाइल्ड सिक्स इयर्स ओल्ड सेवन इयर्स ओल्ड देयर पेरेंट्स वांट टू नर्चर द चाइल्ड दे डोंट हैव अ डेटा सो डीएमआईटी रिपोर्ट प्रोवाइड्स द डेटा ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ विच यू क्रिएट अ नर्चरिंग स्ट्रेटेजी यू क्रिएट अ नर्चरिंग स्ट्रेटेजी की इस तरह से मेरे को नर्चर करना है राइट सो दैट इज वॉट डीएमआईटी इज आई होप आई एम एबल टू एक्चुअली लाइक हेल्प यू अंडरस्टैंड दैट राइट All right. So with this, let me share the screen once again. So this I wanted to explain you. And uh, so glimpses of the report. So DMIT report se kya pata chalta hai? DMIT mein there are four type of reports that we have it. We'll talk about that today. But first, main sabse relevant report ki baat karta hu. That is called the lifetime report. Ye zindagi mein se ek baar karwana hota hai. Sirf ek baar. Normal market price agar aapko karwana hai DMIT. काउंसलिंग के साथ पांच हजार रुपए का मार्केटिंग प्राइस है ए क्लास सिटी में बी क्लास सिटी में आपका चार हजार के आसपास का प्राइस है राइट सो एंड ऑनलाइन भी कर सकते हो ये दे वॉज अ टाइम क्योंकि फिंगरप्रिंट लेने के लिए फिजिकली मीट करना होता था बट नाउ इज द टाइम यू कैन डू इट ऑनलाइन वी हैव दी टेक्निक्स नाउ ओके एंड वील शेयर विद यू आई मीन वंस यू आर अ पार्ट ऑफ इट सो एनी विच वेज तो सबसे पहले डीएमआईटी में बहुत सारे सेवेंटी पेज रिपोर्ट एक्चुअली बट सेवेंटी पेज में मैं जो जो इंपॉर्टेंट पेजेस है ना मैं उसकी बात करता हूँ ओके तो सबसे पहले टॉक्स अबाउट टू टाइप ऑफ पर्सनालिटी प्राइमरी एंड सेकेंडरी प्राइमरी पर्सनालिटी का मतलब क्या हुआ जो वेन यू गो आउट एंड यू आर देर विद स्ट्रेंजर्स द वे योर बिहेवियरल पैटर्न देर आर यू आई मीन समटाइम वट हैपन्स इज यू आर वेरी टॉकेटिव एट होम बट वेन यू गो आउट यू कीप मम यू आर मोर ऑन टू द ऑब्जर्वेंट मोड अदर वे राउंड दर पीपल who are very shant kind of a person at home but when they go out they very talkative right so you may have same personality outside and inside you may have a different personality and that's what it is called primary and secondary personality primary comes from left thumb and secondary comes from right thumb there it is called disc dominant influential compliant and ready dominant is eagle it's like a ceo and entrepreneur see eagle ka kya hota hai sabse bada wo kabhi लाइक यू नो उसका विजन बहुत स्ट्रॉन्ग होता है वो ऊपर से इट कैन सी द प्रे एंड कैन जस्ट गो एंड पिक अप द थिंग एंड जस्ट मूव यू यू वुड सीन लोज ऑफ एग्जांपल यू नो द इट जस्ट कम्स फ्रॉम नो वेयर एंड जस्ट पिक इट अप यू वोट इवन कम टू नो व्हेन दे इज अ रेन दैट हैपन्स वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग थिंग आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट द ईगल सम ऑफ यू माइट बी नोइंग बट लिसन टू दैट अगर ईगल का अगर इफ वेन द रेन हैपन्स द the other birds take a shelter under the tree but eagle flies over the you know above the cloud cloud to to safeguard from the rain it flies above the cloud right ek aur badi interesting cheez hai jo main batana chahunga aapko about the eagle eagle has got a life span of 40 plus 30 years after 40 years kya hota hai eagle it knocks the beak it knocks the wings feathers and the tail and it has to go through two months of the very painful process where beak feathers and tail it's a new thing which comes in and then it gets a life of another 30 years so eagle is the bird who stays for 70 years that's the unique thing and therefore eagle is the personality of a of a ceo is the entrepreneurs right to ye aapki hogi dominant सेकेंड होगा इन्फ्लुएंशियल इन्फ्लुएंशियल क्या होता है पीकॉक को देख के अच्छा लगता है ना यू गेट इन्फ्लुएंस बाय द पीकॉक राइट सो देफ यू वी कॉल इट अ इन्फ्लुएंशियल पर्सनालिटी कंप्लाइंट पर्सनालिटी है दैट इज द आउल आउल की जो गर्दन है ना नेक इट कैन रोटेट इन 360 डिग्री सो आउल इज अ वेरी वेरी लाइक यू नो सस्पिशियस और इट लाइक इट्स अ यू नो दे आर परफेक्शनिस टाइप यू नो दे वॉन्ट टू सी कि कोई डेंजर तो नहीं है बिफोर इट टेक्स अ फ्लाइट it rotates its neck at 360 degree all the angles it shows fine everything is fine that then it will take a flight so therefore this owl is compliant right that's the personality and steady is the dove dove is the symbol of peace so that's a very cool kind of a personality so these are the four different type of personality that you have it so dominant is goal oriented visionary bold determined influential like peacock is unlimited potential conservative center of attention may be talkative defensive all that stuff compliant is 
owl personality process driven process oriented fault finder analytical notice detail and study is like people relationship oriented stuff like that so each one of us has got either of these personalities this report will help you to understand which is the type of personality you have it and it will do the swot analysis for example you have a personality of influential personality of a peacock your strength is your enthusiastic you have a energy you are attention seeker cheerful unlimited potential your weakness is you need post time management organizing planning talkative fear of noting so ye sari cheeze aapke andar hai to i'm just not getting into the depths of it but i'm trying to say pehle aapko personality ke bare mein pata chala then you come to know about the swot analysis if this is the type of personality you also come to know the uh, primary and secondary personality now this is about the I told you we got ten fingerprints. So ये ten fingerprints का data है. The green one, these are ten fingerprints. और हमने बात की थी हमारी अलग-अलग उसकी जैसे इसमें अगर हम बात कर रहे हैं तो हमारी हमारी intrapersonal है, interpersonal है, logical intelligence है, imagination है, visual वाली, kinesthetic fine motor skills भी है, kinesthetic gross motor. तो ये brain का जो दस part के ना fingers के जो दस lobes हैं. उसका ये डेटा आपका जो ब्रेन में था डीएमआईटी के थ्रू इस रिपोर्ट में आ गया ओके द ग्रीन वन टोटल 100 परसेंट है पोटेंशियल 100 परसेंट को आपने 10 पार्ट्स में डिवाइड कर दिया तो अब आपको ये पता है कि विच इज द हाईएस्ट तो सबसे स्ट्रांग डोमेन आपका कौन सा है सबसे स्ट्रांग ब्रेन पार्ट कौन सा है तो यहां पर जो ग्रीन वन है दो आर स्ट्रॉन्ग दैट्स यू आर गुड एट रेड वन आर वीक एंड ब्लू वन आर तो दैट्स एन एवरेज राइट तो आपको ये डेटा मिल जाता है इसमें सबसे बड़ी बात है आपको यू कम टू नो टू थिंग्स यू कम टू नो अबाउट द एट मल्टीपल इंटेलिजेंस यू कम टू नो अबाउट द टेन डिफरेंट ब्रेन लोब्स कौन सा कितना स्ट्रॉन्ग है यू कम टू नो अबाउट नाइनटीन सब इंटेलिजेंस ऑल्सो राइट तो ये भी एक बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट चीज है आई जस्ट टॉक अबाउट दैट तो जैसे फॉर एग्जाम्पल तो ये आपको डेटा मिलता है इसके बेसिस पे आप काउंसलिंग करते हो इसके बेसिस पे आपको तो हाईएस्ट जो भी होगा जैसे इसमें आपका अगर हाईएस्ट कोई पर्टिकुलर वो है दैट इज इंट्रापर्सनल इज वेरी गुड हाई है ना तो इंट्रापर्सनल इज द नंबर वन फॉर यू टुडे सो इन दिस केस इंट्रापर्सनल इज नंबर वन सो देन व्हाट इज द सेकंड सो अकॉर्डिंगली यू ट्राई टू काउंसिल यू काउंसिल द पर्सन ओके यू कम टू नो अबाउट दिस देन द नेक्स्ट थिंग इज whether you are a left brain do dominant or the right brain dominant this is very important if you discover that the child is left brain dominant you try to develop the right brain if you know the child is right brain dominant you try to develop the left brain why because the balanced brain is the best brain if you get the balanced brain and there are lots of ways to do it you can do the brain gymming you can do the eye gymming you can do a lot of stuff you know so so there are ways if you discover which brain is good more stronger you can start writing from the other hand if you know the child has got x brain good you start writing from the opposite hand you start brushing from the opposite hand you start doing the small activity your brain will start getting improved we use not more than 5% of the total brain power considered that einstein used to use it 10% so if you improve the power of your brain by increasing the other brain part by even 2% the difference is going to be very big but you can only do it once you know about it so this is the way you come to know about it right this report will also help you to understand what kind of a question you have iq intelligent question hota hai eq emotional question to hota hai jo empathy ke usme hota hai cq creative question hota hai jo artist ke liye hota hai photographer ke liye hota hai uh, mf sand kind of a people एक यू एडवर्सिटी को सकता क्वेश्चन होता है यानी कि अगर टफ सिचुएशन आ गई तो विल यू गेट पैनिक और वुड यू एक्चुअली लाइक बी हम्बल इनफ एंड टेक केयर ऑफ दैट सो दैट्स एग्जैक्टली वर इट इज राइट आई क्यू ई क्यू सी क्यू एंड ए क्यू ये आपको पता चलता है इस रिपोर्ट से ये रिपोर्ट आपको कितना कुछ दे रही है डेटा इमेजिन ये रिपोर्ट आपका मैं बोलता हूँ इट्स अ यूजर मैनुअल इट्स अ ब्रेन मैनुअल ब्रेन यूजर मैनुअल आपको ये पता चलता है कि पर्सन को क्या करना चाहिए एंड ये डेटा से आप पेरेंट्स की जितनी हेल्प कर सकते हो और बच्चे की जितनी हेल्प कर सकते हो मुझे बता दो कौन सी ऐसी रिपोर्ट है जिसके थ्रू आप वो कर सकते हो राइट नाउ कमिंग टू लर्निंग स्टाइल नाउ दिस इज वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग 
लर्निंग स्टाइल की हम बात करते हैं तो इधर वी कैन बी विजुअल लर्नर वी कैन बी ऑडिटरी लर्नर वी कैन बी किनेस्टेटिक लर्नर फॉर एग्जाम्पल मोदी जी ने आपको ये सिखाया कि कैसे चाय बनानी है और आपके सामने चाय बना के सिखाई सो so, जो विजुअल लर्नर होगा वो देख के सीख जाएगा यू सी हाउ मोदी जी एज टोल्ड यू एंड दे विल लर्न जो ऑडिटरी लर्नर होगा वो कैसे सीखेगा वो देख के नहीं सीखेगा वो सुन के सीख जाएगा बिकॉज इज इज नॉट इन लर्नर वो सुनेगा वो आंखें भी बंद कर रही होगी ओके मैंने एक पत्ती ये डाली एक चम्मच पत्ती डाली नॉल स्टाफ ही विल बी एबल टू लर्न और सी विल बी एबल टू लर्न राइट जो किनेस्थेटिक लर्नर होगा वो करके जब तक खुद चाय नहीं बनाएगा ही विल नॉट बी एबल टू लर्न सो वंस यू सी मेजोरिटी ऑफ द किड्स वाई डू दे नॉट फाइंड एन इंटरेस्ट इन टू स्टडीज फॉर द रीजन बिकॉज दे आर अ ऑडिटरी लर्नर एंड वी आर ट्राइंग टू टीच दैम इन द किनेस्थेटिक वे और दे आर द किनेस्थेटिक लर्नर क्लास में पढ़ाते हैं विजुअल तरीके से या ऑडिटरी तरीके से जनरली क्लास में ऑडिटरी होता है है ना वो लिख के ब्लैक बोर्ड पर चढ़ा दिया आजकल स्मार्ट क्लासेस आ गई हैं थोड़ा बहुत फर्क पड़ गया है थोड़ा सा इंप्रूवमेंट हो गया है बट देन अल्टीमेटली दैट द थिंग सो अल्टीमेटली अब इसका इम्पैक्ट समझिए आई गिव यू अगेन एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ माई डॉटर मैंने उसका डीएमआईटी किया था एट ईयर्स बैक ऑलमोस्ट एंड दैट पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम यू नो आई डिस्कवर दैट सी इज एन ऑडिटरी लर्नर and what happened was iske baad na tips bhi hoti hai ki kya kya karna hai if you are an auditory learner what is your study type and what should you do to improve it and how should you be learn so that your learning becomes faster and you learn the things in half the time than the current time that you are using to ye kaise hoga aapka so how would it happen is like to auditory learner mein usme likha hua tha that whatever the topic that you cover or whatever the chapter that you cover you always make a note please do make a note but after once you made the note you record onto your mobile into your own voice the same notes and when the time comes when you have to actually appear for an examination don't read that just hear your auditory notes and that one single change she completely adopted and is found her scores and everything went so fast because you know since she was an auditory learner when you actually speak in your own voice it connects it connects because you know what thought process you have gone through while you were reading and actually like doing it wo memory recall mein bhi jaldi hota hai so this small change actually made her like one of the top notch students among the class and pehle she was an average student ye choti si cheez there were other things also that i did like left brainer ke liye maine right cheezon se usko right cheez usko bola ki left brain se left hand se dikhna start karo so all that stuff you know there were changes you have to direct the child but i am talking about why it is so important to understand whether you are visual kinesthetic because class mein to ek hi tarike se padhate hain but ghar mein you can actually offer them in a different fashion right this is what it is then comes in uh, then comes in the next thing that is called the extra curricular activity अभी एग्जाम्स खत्म होने वाले हैं दिस इज द बेस्ट टाइम टू एक्चुअली ग्रास्प दिस बिजनेस आल्सो आई एम टेलिंग यू बट आई एम जस्ट टेलिंग यू क्योंकि एग्जाम खत्म होने के बाद है पीपल वांट यू नो न्यू थिंग्स इन लाइफ एंड दिस इज वन ऑफ द थिंग्स दैट यू कैन डू इट बट एनी वे आई विल टॉक अबाउट दैट लेटर आई विल टॉक दैट टुमारो बट टूडे आई आई वॉन्ट टॉक अबाउट इट इज एक्स्ट्रा करिकुलर एक्टिविटी जनरली ड्यूरिंग द समर टाइम हम क्या करते हैं वो किसी भी क्लास में डाल देते हैं जो तीन घंटे के लिए बच्चे को इंगेज करके रखते हैं दैट इज द पर्पज so that we get some shanti and this kids are away and they are also learning something so typically they learn some guitar some dancing some some you know crayon activity something 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 you know which is permanently but if you know that the child is good in singing and you actually like put him there he would be able to do a great job if you know that the child is good in chess and you know this report says it says he is good in chess you never tried chess kabhi apne ghar pe khilaya hi nahi और स्कूल में भी उसको मौका नहीं मिला उसका टैलेंट ही हिडन रह जाएगा इफ यू एक्सपोज हिम टू डैट यू रियलाइज दे आर पीपल हु बिकम अ स्टेट लेवल एंड नेशनल लेवल प्लेयर्स जस्ट बाय यू नो डूइंग दैट एंड आई एम अ लाइव एग्जांपल आई कैन टेल यू इन फ्रंट ऑफ मी देर सो मेनी पेरेंट्स टू होम आई हेड काउंसिल एंड दे ड्राफ्टर लाइक यू नो दैट वॉज द फर्स्ट टाइम बिकॉज द रिपोर्ट सेट एंड वी एक्सप्लेन दे एक्चुअली लाइक एडॉप्टेड दैट एंड वंस दे गॉट हिम एक्सपोज they realize it's completely a different world i mean a child had so too much of a potential most of the times you find it so you are putting your money into the right thing and his efforts and energy into the right thing 
where he or she will sign. That's the idea, right? So this will give you the report uh, about that also. And then finally comes in, you know, what kind of a stream you should select. So is it a science, it's a commerce or an arts? So which si stream select to select? So what happens from this? That this kind of a report, DMIT or psychometric, your academic counseling, which is your DMIT report, behavioral counseling, your compatibility DMIT report, career counseling is your psychometric, and relationship counseling is your compatibility report in DMIT. So, so behavioral and academic counseling can be done through lifetime report. So these are the different tools that we have, right? Just get through up key counseling for TA. Right. You can be a both career counselor, counselor and the psychometric. Counselor is a counselor. Be it psychometric. If you have a process, you can be a career counselor, you can be a relationship counselor, you can be an academic counselor, you can be a good counselor. You can be a process. And in the six step process, you can be a good counselor. That is to be, has to be very good. Right, guys, I hope uh, there's some element of, uh, uh, you know, like uh, value add that you're going to, you're getting it, right? I really want to understand. So for me, I just want to tell you now that tomorrow is going to be a business session. Give me a moment, please. All right, guys. So I think uh, so. Tomorrow gonna be a business session. Today was this thing. I want you to write down, or I want you to speak it out. How did you feel feel about the today's session? Was it informative? Was it a new learning? Do you really feel that was the you know like two hours that you spent in was a good information for you? I mean, just let me know so that I get certain worth spending. So. Impressive. Thank you so much, Pius. So, uh, good evening, sir. Rugaan Kanigre from Sri Lanka. Hi, Sorry hi. Sorry for the disturbance. Not yeah, at all. Good evening. Hi. Uh, I would like to ask a question to you. Sure. Uh, according to Hindu, Hindu palmistry. Correct. Uh, fingerprints, or then what you call the Rasha, so it changes with each year for each year. फिंगरप्रिंट नहीं बदलते हैं, फिंगरप्रिंट नहीं बदलते हैं, वो वो रेखा बदलती है, आपकी जो ये वाली रेखा होती है ना, पामिस्ट्री वाली, हाँ, वो बदलती है, वो ये फिंगरप्रिंट हाँ, फिंगरप्रिंट अलग होते हैं, फिंगरप्रिंट कभी चेंज नहीं होते हैं, रीजेस नहीं चेंज होते, रीजेस कभी नहीं चेंज होते, राइट love i mean uh, i mean I'm, I'm so amazed to see your feedbacks on this i mean though you can't see because the direct message that's coming to me but yeah i mean uh, thank you so much and uh, yeah one question yeah please uh, go we, ahead do we get a sample report of dmit or something to refer to and understand yeah, this yeah. more detail yeah yeah in fact a uh, sample because, report yeah i will say, share the sample reports also uh, tomorrow when i'm going to be doing this like after the session of uh, Business session, I'm going to be sharing all the psycho psychometric and DMIT reports also with you. Because, you know, the best way is if you read the report, you know, one or two times, you take a lifetime report le lena or psychometric report. Le lena. Just read it two, three times and you would have a good amount of knowledge. But the video said, this is just like one other thing. I think I wanted to club together the information which is there and various stories and stuff like that to get today. I mean, that was the foundation thing, right? Now the people who want to venture into it, there's a deep knowledge and the complete structured, you know, pre-recorded videos that I've created for that matter. And obviously, as you rightly said that uh, this report of sample report will also help you. So tomorrow I'm going to be sharing with you this. And you can, yeah, you can. Tomorrow talk. 11 o'clock, no, sir? Tomorrow it's going to be from 11 to 1 and uh, that's when I'm going to show you the actual reports also tomorrow so that you have a feel of it. Right now I've told, uh, shown you the uh, glimpses of it and I've shared the fundamentals of it. Tomorrow I'll show how the actual report is there 
and then how do you market it actually you know uh, because if you want to be successful in this profession just not the knowledge is sufficient but there are four parameters for it you have to have the right software you have to have the right training you have to have the right uh, way to how to market it and to get it like you know i mean like how do you get the clientele and finally you have to make profit spirit you have to have a right mentor who would you know handhold you through that journey so this is all that you require right so to, so tomorrow we are going to be covering the next rest of the things today but we talked about it this particular thing and i will also give you a great and a brilliant offer because i am tomorrow going to be there to sell you and i will sell you right good. idea good is ha huh, good evening i'll just take your question so idea is that today is the complete thing for this and tomorrow will be the session for people who really want to make this as a profession and i will take you through a different things how do you create a monopoly how do you become a premium coach for a matter how do you charge premium from the customer still you continue to keep on getting the numbers your client and you make a good profit and have a decent lifestyle yeah now coming back to the questions anybody has got it please yes good evening sir it was a wonderful uh, session uh, really uh, sorry to interrupt to... if you don't have any questions can we uh, leave yeah so the people just, who don't just have just one a... question ha uh, just said just one question yeah please yeah one question i wanted to really know that uh, do do you provide some kind of course certificate course for this career counseling we do that for the people who want to be a career counselor and who who take up like the complete opportunity not for this two days because okay. if i start providing it for these two days what will happen is people not will not for the two days ha huh. no not for the two days otherwise yeah, yeah. if yeah, i yeah. want to do career counseling certificate and certification course you all are providing that so okay. career counseling no career counseling career coaching let me let me career coaching okay career counselor nobody can write unless you are a psychologist or a human science expert right you okay. need to have the post graduate degree with 100 hours of training okay. then only you can have it therefore if somebody writes career counselor that will be wrong legally the safe term is career analyst or career coaches right so you psychology wala part kisne kiya hua hai ye software mein aa gaya hai right you are being trained how to how to counsel the people so the information which is the most scientific you are able to deliver the information and help the parents because you are acquiring the thing so if you call yourself career coach that's safer no problem so we that. get a, a we, certificate for career coach yes we you give do, you a two okay. certification one is career coach and second is the career counselor sorry dmit counselor these two okay. certificates we provide to you yeah okay okay thank you sir yeah good evening sir i have i am having one question yeah please first of all i i must say that the session was excellent thank you so much and uh, thank you for arranging such session and uh, number 2 is that for tomorrow session will there be any another link will be sent to us or the same link so in fact i have already sent you the link usme do link hain which are the link that i have sent there were two links in that one was for saturday and one was for tomorrow okay. so you have to register on the second link and and thank you for asking this question because many may would uh, would ex uh, ex uh, would not be able to do that right so all okay. the people who have attended the session today also i'll be sending them again the link for tomorrow also so Please do wait. register otherwise the one that i have sent you on the whatsapp na uske andar link hai to wo uske andar link hai aap usko register karenge same process se you will be able to attend it you will get on your mail the uh, the particular uh, link right sir thank you thank you a lot welcome sir uh, it's dipali here uh, it was really very good the one which i was looking for since long thank you um, but i just wanted to know will we get the recording of today's uh, session also because like yes you will to revise it uh, it is not like just in 2 hours we'll be able to club sure. everything right i respect that and therefore like we do share i mean definitely we're going to okay. be sharing a recording uh, okay. but it will be done by tomorrow uh, late evening because yeah, that's fine yeah. that's that's but fine. yeah you will certainly get that okay thank you so much sir welcome dipali Anybody else got any kind of a questions? Otherwise, uh, the sir, people, yeah, yeah, just I have a one question. Yeah, sir, can we use both the reports like DMIT and psychometry for career counseling? Because in uh, that's my tomorrow session. DMIT are, also. Sorry, yeah. so in tomorrow session we are going to be talking about it. How? Yes, you can. The answer is right. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. thank you, thank you. Now I want everybody to come onto the screen and if you can, I'm sure a couple of people would be sleeping onto the bed and whatever it is. but if at all you can come in i want to take a photograph because i have just kept this thing kismet sirf jo live aa sakte hain 
only they will be visible. So I really want to see everybody because I didn't know whom I was speaking to. So yeah, but I could see the wonderful, beautiful faces out there. And I want to say hi to everybody. Thank you so much for uh, coming online. I know this is the time when generally people like to say, but yeah, such a fantastic energy. And thank you so much for being a part of this beautiful uh, group. I think you made my day and made my evening. So God bless each one of you. Looking forward to see you tomorrow. Let me take a pick up for everybody. Yeah, whosoever can come onto the screen and can just join in. No matter what position are you into, just make yourself available. And uh, that's it. Yeah, so I'll just take another photograph. And I'm going to be sending you this particular photograph as well, right? So, yeah. So let's have, a, you know, this, this kind of a symbol. Yeah, because we are going to be victorious and trust me this is one of the most beautiful one and uh, i think let's let's just track this let's just do it so thank you so much uh thank rest you so much. Uh, sir, sir, excuse me yeah uh, abhi aapne batai mujhe, aaya hame, to uska kuch PDF ya is, uh... recording mein aapko share karunga. recording kal share karunga. Okay, okay 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 thank you thank you so much Right, so guys, thank you so yeah, much. Sub, sub remember karna thoda difficult hota hai. I samajhta hu. Abhi sirf concept aapko clear karna tha. Baaki aapko yes, yes, recording mil jayegi. But you. most importantly, if you want to be a part of it, we've got a complete system to that. With this signing off, Rajul so Srivastav, take good care. Good night. And see you tomorrow at 11 sharp, yeah? Yes, sir, sure.